Oh, hello, guys! How you doing today? Let me adjust this. I'm hiding my face a little bit here. Ah, there we go. Welcome back, everybody, to another live stream here on the channel. That's what we do. And how are you guys doing today? Big Smoke, what's going on? Geo, hello, a person. Alexander, good to see you. Gaming cliche. Null, Colton, Aries plays. Gamer named Red, Andre, good to see you. Dead Duel, made it early. All right, no late slip for you today. <laughs> Dayton, welcome back. You had this crane car when you were eight? Right on, Dark. Cookies, that is. Matthew Hull, what's going on? Nuclear Zeus, Wyatt, Artemis, Prawn Suit, welcome back. Matthew Hull, Lynn, Adam, on, got to be on for a live stream. Yeah, Adam, good to see you again. And uh, I'm going to go down to the live chat here now. I, otherwise, I will just always be... I'll, if I don't go down to the live chat, I will forever be in the past reading chat, okay? So I have to go to the live. <laughs> Dark's not here yet. Did I ever upload the Mars bill for Scrapman? You know what? No, I didn't. You know what? We'll do that today. <laughs> We're going to do that today. That might be a good idea, actually. <laughs> if I ever wanted to see him, check it out. I have competition. Oh, wow. Well, someone else built a transport ship? Well, looks like I shouldn't build one now. Because that's what people think at Scrap Mechanic. Hey, Matthew. Moombo streams make your day. <laughs> hey, Wyatt. All right, if you've already said hi, stop saying hi. You don't have to say hi ten times. <laughs> yes, today we're going to be building... A Lego mobile crane truck. I have a couple ideas. I want to try a couple different things with it. And I'm very excited to see high 10 times. I mean, if you if you say high 10 times like that, that's way more acceptable. I know you're joking, but <laughs> it's more acceptable. <laughs> Glad you caught a stream. Right on, Muddy. Good to see you. Eli, hello. Gunter, welcome back. Everybody get in here. Pile on in. Or make space, I don't know, one or the other. Hey, Makana Okekwa, welcome back. You have the Lego crane? Oh man, okay, well you but you're gonna be you're gonna be looking at my build with a microscope. That was a magnifying glass, actually. Yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> so I know Dark is not here right now, but I have an idea. Okay, so people who are super generous really want to have like some representation in the emotes now I'm not naming names or anything well aside from the name I named before I started saying this but <laughs> anyway the point is I have a bit of an idea for that and I might wait for more people before I explain it when is the stream starting the stream is starting right now I'm here I'm here what more do you want what do you want me to play a video game or something? <laughs> it took you two days to build? Yeah, this one might take us a couple days, honestly, so. Just typed hate ten times. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna build the crane. We're gonna get some creative mode. What a beautiful feeling it was to load up scrap mechanic with uh without having to change the uh the like verifying the integrity of the game files and stuff like that. It's kind of nice. You ping the dark. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, here we go then. Because this pertains to multiple people. The more we stream, the more we will uh, get to know the idea. And so here's what it is, okay? So I know people want... You want an emote, you know what I mean? Some people want an emote. So here's my idea. Hear me out, okay? So, on Twitch, they have, like, leaderboards at the top of the chat, if you're familiar with it. And, uh, and yo, Shrabigus, good to see you. And so, at the top there, they have weekly, monthly, uh, all-time leaderboards for gifted subs, bit donations, and all that stuff, right? YouTube doesn't really have that. I have the API, though, for that information, which is really nice. So, what we can do is, this is my idea. Every week... 
whoever it's gift i'm gonna do it by gifted members it's a nice easy solid number that has no currency conversions gifted members at the end of the week whoever has gifted the most members will have their emote featured in the following week does that make sense That's my idea. And Slimy, good to see it. Jake Lake, welcome back. Ratzi, hello, hello. The emote is just for one week. Exactly, it would be for one week. That, because here's the thing, hear me out, okay? Well, let me, I'm gonna load the game up so people think that we're actually playing. <laughs> there you go. So anyone who's like, hurry up and open the game. We will appease the people who want to see the game open. <laughs> no begging for gift subs, please. How's my day? It's good. But so here, hear me out though, right? So this is the reason why I want to do it this way is because I like the idea that you know we can highlight some amazing people in the community. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's a good idea to make it something that rotates. You know, and that way. Uh, if someone else like someone else could get a chance to do it I just I don't want to get this feeling where like someone donates like if, if people are donating It's very appreciative, but I don't want people to have this expectation that if we Donate then we get these very specific rewards, you know what I mean? I'm trying to balance Reward and expectation, you know what I'm saying? Do we get past credit? Well, here, look at this, actually. Hold on. I lie. We are going back this way. I mean, look, this is what it looks like. I can pop it up right here like this. Boom. There it is right there. So, currently, Dark has gifted... set. Like, these are insane numbers because it was just yesterday's stream. But, yesterday, Dark, 75. Dead Tool, 65. Eric Xavier with 10 gifted members. Um, so, I mean, I think we'll do it that way. I think it's a good idea. But the past credit, I mean, uh, yes, I could just start with a, a guaranteed rotation. <laughs> oh my god. No, no. I had to take it back. Hold on. <laughs> this was not... <laughs> the intention of this was not to make it a competition, okay? It was not... It's not meant to be a competition. <laughs> Dead Duel... Thank you so much. <laughs> kind of sounds like a competition. It's only a competition if you make it a competition. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, Vittorio, how's it going? Victor Le Gamer, Super Sazy. Welcome back, guys. Yo, Dead Tool. Thank you so much for the gifted members. If you got one, make sure you thank them. Maybe only can win once. What do you mean you can only win once? I'm so, you can win every week. I just, I don't know. I think that's a good, I think it's a good way to do it. I don't know. That's why I, I haven't gotten any feedback from Dark, but I don't know if maybe, maybe he thinks it's a bad idea. I don't know. Maybe it's a good idea. <laughs> but thank you so much. So let's see now. Does this, did this update? It did it updated. You better believe it updated. Anyway, that's my idea. Just wanted to share it with you guys. It sounds expensive. Well, here's the thing though, right? You can choose to not spend your money. You know? Just don't spend your money. And then other people can get a chance. How much to get a permanent emote? See, that's what I'm trying to avoid. I don't, I don't, it's stressful for me. It's stressful. All right, let's do this. We're gonna go, let me take a look at a reference image here. <laughs> Dark with a 20 gifted memberships. Thank you so much, Dark. Oh my God, you thought we had to donate? What I'm saying is, it's okay if you don't have an emote for a week. That's what I'm saying. It's okay if you don't have an emote for a week. Yeah, now, how many hours do you have in Scrap Mechanic? Uh, Coinsy, I've got about uh, almost 3,700. 
Dark, thank you so much for the gifted members. 20, another 20. You guys are crazy. Is it, though? While you tell me, Dead Tool. I mean, I guess you are telling me. Yo, Tendiff, when I was going, by the way, I saw you uh, spam my face there, and I was in the middle of a thought, so I didn't get a chance to say hi. So, okay. Dark, thank you so much. Dead Tool, thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate that. Anyway, I think it's a pretty good idea. You have over 300. That's a respectable amount as well. So we do have some custom wheels here. We're going to keep our uh, custom wheels going. So we'll just do the... We'll join up into the Lego Tractor, I believe, is the mod with the Karasu wheels. So we'll just go into this world. Winning for a week keeps the emote for four weeks. So there's a rolling four winners. I, that's not a bad idea. See, and that's why I'm I'm like talking about it with you guys, uh, because I I greatly value your guys's like feedback when it comes to this, right? Because I am all for like like recognizing like the massive support that people can provide. I'm all for recognizing that. And, but I, I think you guys can understand the balance I'm trying to strike. But that's a good idea. So if I have enough slots to do it and stuff, then yeah. You guys can just talk and not drive each other up. You have it as a model? Not enough members? <laughs> you mean opinion? Do I think banana bread is good? Yeah. Banana bread can be good, but it can also be bad. But I think that could be said about any food item. Oh, yo, Dead Tool and Dark. Thank you so much for the gifted members. No, I know I'm having enough. I'm just reading chat. Don't... Don't... I'll tap my nose twice if I'm speaking on my own behalf. <laughs> you did 475... So that's a good idea then. I like that. We can make it like a rolling type of thing. We'll we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Hey Diamond. SBTs are always good. I just I want to strike a balance between providing like some really cool rewards for the support. Uh, but while also not creating like unrealistic expectations uh, like as a community at large. It hurts to look. A month makes the week winning a week more valuable. It's true. And I, like I said, I completely agree with that. And that's why I haven't written anything down. Nothing is official or anything in terms of how I want to do it, right? A week is so short. It's true. So there you go. But like I said, that's why I wanted to get feedback from you guys. Especially the two of you. <laughs> Yo, King Awesome, what's going on, man? How you doing? Uh, okay, so I need to get uh, my inventory set up here. Let's get building, shall we? There we go. Everything's cleared up. Let's get my uh, references here. So this is a relatively simple build in some ways, but I think I have some really cool ideas. Guess the week is short, and you win the pre-week, and then you are not there to use them. No, yeah, I okay, I agree. So that's what we'll do then. How does that sound, right? So... The top gifted members of the week will get an emote for a month. So, and that's good though, because that means it's four weeks, which means we have to have four emotes that I can roll. And here, let me put it, I'll put in the chat actually. What are we building? Oh, uh, we're doing a mobile Lego crane build. So, I know for a fact that like the Sunshake. And, uh, what else is there? I know there was some other ones. This one, the mad mechanic is not the greatest. And honestly, even the hay and the buy aren't used that much. So I'm just putting them in the chat. Those are the four emotes that we could definitely roll through and get rid of them, right? Where's the mechanic guy? I don't know if you guys are memeing me or not when you guys ask that question. <laughs> is the crane going to be a one-to-one -one scale? I don't know, this is a virtual world. 
Agreed, those can die. Yeah, those are the emotes that are gonna be gone over time. Never use them. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm always trying to make sure I'm using... Oh, look, Hydrangea is using it. <laughs> we, looks like we can't get rid of it now. <laughs> there are some new emotes, by the way, guys. I don't know if you've noticed. I added even more. I haven't seen a single uwu. Especially from Tenda. If Tenda's still in the chat, how have you not put an uwu in the chat yet? As long as the duck stays. Oh, I know the duck is not going anywhere. Yo, Alvman. Not that uwu. The the official uwu. The moon uwu. There it is. <laughs> Just got an NFT. I'm sorry to hear that, Super Donut. <laughs> you dare me to dab? Okay, let me, uh, let me see here. Where's my... Okay, chat can stay up. Mobile crane. So I'm gonna need the plastic for sure. Let me get some good wheels for this, right? Let's get the wheels figured out as well. Yo, Double Graper, good to see you. Hockey bro, welcome back. You just broke your company's software? You're fired. You're still waiting for the twerk I paid for? Uh, yeah, show me the receipt. Where's... The Let's see that receipt. Why are you thanking Jado? Why are you thanking Jado? <laughs> hey, Muckle. It's going good, thank you for asking. Um, I guess it's a modded part, right? So we'll go into the modded. So I want to get a good wide wheel for this, right? I mean, I guess... Um, is there like a 3x5 or like the 3x7? Is this too big? This is a pretty big crane. I'll send the credit card statement. <laughs> Yo, Stroop, you're gonna watch the whole live stream right on. Buckle up. <laughs> Cause it's time to build and scrap again. So I want those like truck wheels, right? These ones. So let me just see here. We're just going to make sure these are looking good. Wait. That is not 3x7 at all. What the heck? Is it that one? It is that one. Why isn't that fitting? Is it supposed to be a 4x9 in it? I mean, that works, I guess, doesn't it? This will be yellow. That's kind of strange. I think this is a good wheel size, though. Yeah, the 3x7 might be better. I'm just concerned it might be a little too big. I don't want it to be jumbo. You know, I'm pretty tired of making huge creations. You have a bigger version of a crane? You got some popcorn and a drink right on? Hey, Fitzrandy. Hello, good to see you. You got 100% on your bio final. That's because I said good luck on your final, right? I'm pretty sure I said good luck on your final. I have some credit there for that. So let's see now. Let's start with the front, I guess. I'm not too sure about those wheels yet. The 3x7 is feeling rather jumbo. If I'm being honest, I don't know if I'm a big fan of the 3x7. But this is pretty small, isn't it? Why is that so long? Why are these? Oh, there it is. I guess we could use this one, right? I don't know. I'm kind of torn. I think this is better in terms of, like, not making things oversized, right? Which is kind of what I want. Yo, Mr. McDucky, good to see you. Make sure I put a duck at the end of the boom. <laughs> I didn't say it for yours. Well, that means you must have failed miserably. <laughs> What am I building? Well, there's a whole stream title, a whole stream thumbnail. So that's looking good. I like that. You've been dabbling in the custom games? Yeah, I've been kind of thinking about it. I've I've been thinking about it more as well, actually. And uh, I um I uh 
I've learned Unity and stuff like that, and I don't know if my brain is ready for more. <laughs> Yo, Dark, thank you so much for the super chat. I don't want jumbo wheels. I want jumbo SBTs. That reminds me, I still have three more sheets of uh, puff pastry, by the way. Three more sheets. <laughs> hey, Artemis. You did say it, and it went well. Perfect. Excellent. So this technically has three seats in my picture here. Right? Technically speaking. Hey, Cal Flood, good to see Gato you. made her emotes. Pleasantly surprised to know it, too. <laughs> Chart with upwards trend. Money Yo, bag. Yo, tend up. Mooney bag. Did you hear that? That is just Mooney to Mooney bag. Yo, Tenda, thank you so much for the 10 bomb. Thank you so much for that crazy super chat. And if I'm being honest, so Jato made the uh, the template essentially. She did the custom mechanic kind of uh, design, and I've been utilizing it as a template to make new ones. So technically, it's a team effort. Team effort. <laughs> Hopefully not late. No. The puff pastry. What am I using it for? Um, spicy bacon twirls, pant. Uh, if you aren't aware of what spicy bacon twirls are, if you go on the Discord, there is a recipe on how to make them and everything in the food channel. Pinned and everything. Yo, LG, what's going on? And BBB, good to see ya. You're close to the start this time? Yeah, I'm glad you could tune in. Don't be late again. This is a really cool build. There's a lot of weird pieces that I'm going to be using that won't make sense like a normal truck, but because it's inspired by Lego, yeah, we can get away with it. You saying good luck definitely made me get 100%. Yeah, if you guys are ever coming up to a stressful situation in life, just let me know and I will wish you good luck. <laughs> No, it's life-changing experience. Yo, Maka, Makana Okekwa, thank you so much for the super chat. Those are so good. Have you been eating them? They are delicious. Look at that. Dead Tool is doing some work in the chat for you guys with the tutorials. <laughs> What's this scrap mechanic in my bacon twirl stream? <laughs> Unacceptable! So there's some weird pipe shapes and stuff like that in my reference image here that is looking really cool. Yo! Eli Mason! I'm caught what up here. All the mods Holy! You use and thank you for getting me into scrap mechanic. Yo, Eli, thank you so much for the 20 bomb! <laughs> Can we get some hype in the chat for Eli? Thank you for the big time no joke super chat. And what are the mods that I use? Uh, I, I've i gone like through various mod usage uh, things, uh, but some really good mods to have in Scrap Mechanic, uh, like off the top of my head would be like the mod pack. Um, MJM has a really cool sci-fi mod with some amazing parts in it as well. Uh, the custom game modes now, I want to give a shout out to the custom game modes, even though technically uh, they are not really modded anymore, but like Wrath Mechanic and stuff like that for a whole new survival experience is huge as well. Uh, and like, I'm using a, a mod that I absolutely love called Karasu's Wheel Pack. And these are just like some of the best uh, modded wheel designs I've ever seen. They're my favorite wheels to use on construction vehicles and stuff like that as well. Um, Lord Payne has some amazing mods as well. I believe Lord Payne has the, um, car parts and stuff like that. Six people are watching you with some popcorn from Greece. Wait, what are you, are the, is everyone from Greece keeping track of each other's activities? Let's see if you fix the software again. Wait, what do you mean again? Uh, again implies that you've broken it already. And fixed it though. That's the good thing. You have that Lego set. The engine mod from Lord Payne. Yeah, Lord Payne has some really amazing mod stuff as well. Uh, so hopefully, Eli, I hope that gave you some really good uh, kind of direction on some mods to use. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I really like the Lord Payne stuff. So we're going to use this pipe here. 
Okay, that is not... There we go. This pipe here. Wait, no, I can't use that pipe because of the elbows. I really wish that there was a... You know what? These are the times when it's like, man, I gotta get into mod making because... It's kind of annoying. Sometimes. How you would kind of wish something would look one way, but it doesn't. Yo, NST. And Stinger! Hey, Stinger! Welcome back! Good to see ya! Hope you've been well. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need you guys to all log out. And then subscribe on all of your own personal channels. Kinda sucks, a lot of the OG scrap mechanic players don't play anymore. What do you mean? I'm playing. That's all that matters. <laughs> Yo. Yo, Stinger with the five months, where is my wedge emote? Holy crap, that's actually a good point. I meant to do that. Hey, at least we have the world's biggest wedge on Discord, right? At the very least. <laughs> Stinger, thank you so much for the five months re-membership. Welcome back. And as I... So we are at 22 emote slots now, by the way. We're getting up there. And the, every time you unlock a new emote slot, it uh, it makes the next goal that much farther away. And Cal Flood, thank you so much for the two. Have I ever been to Ireland donating to the best? Yo, thank you so much, Cal. And no, I have never been to Ireland. Quite honestly, actually. I have never been to Europe at all. I've just never been to Europe. And, I mean, it's not like there's a specific reason why I've never been to Europe. It's just, it's it's far. It's across the entire ocean. And, uh, and traveling ain't cheap. But I would love to go to Europe at some point. There's all, all sorts of places. I really want to go to Japan. I really want to go to Europe. Gonna need that $1 gifted membership change. <laughs> I don't miss anything. Do I like the bland Black Sabbath? Yeah, they're not bad, you know. I don't mind Black Sabbath. So there's certain things kind of like eventually turn into like radio rock. Not all the songs, obviously, but some of the songs. <laughs> uh, what do we want here? Uh, this one, I think. Okay, so we don't need that block there, I'm realizing. Come to Finland. We could really push through the goals at that price. That's so true, actually. Even, like, to just do that for, like, a couple weeks or something to just boost the sub or the member count. I just, I'm too far. I can't delete the membership tier. I can't do it. <laughs> you, I like your chin. Do I like the band Aerosmith? Not necessarily, no. Aerosmith is not, uh... Not one of my faves. <laughs> so right now I'm just trying to kind of get the front shaped up a little bit here. I'm not too keen on having the three seats. So right now I'm just kind of trying to do it um, the same way as uh, the actual Lego build. But I'm the kind of scrap mechanic player where like if I need to get some creative freedom then I'm gonna take that creative freedom. I really don't care, you know? I'm not always, I'm not going for 100% accuracy all the time. Hello from Ukraine, hello, hello. Scorpion? Yeah, what's, what was one of, well, a Scorpion, what was one of their songs? I'm trying to remember now. Everyone say hi to Hawaii. Hi, Y.E. Sauna boys, what the hell? <laughs> Can I add sound effects? Can I add sound effects? I mean, technically. So there's a lot of really rounded pieces on this that is really hard to capture in scrap mechanic terms. It's very difficult. 
so a part of me thinks maybe what I might do is, um, uh, let's try this here. I'm, I'm gonna go... So this... Okay, this is not a bad spot here, I think. In terms of seats, yeah, that's not bad. I'm still loving you. Rock you like a hurricane? Is it? I thought it was. I thought it was. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can say it. <laughs> I don't really remember. So, what if we, instead of using those, um... Hold on. So what if we did something like this? I'm gonna have to try and balance a little bit of lag. There's one thing I'm really excited to try and do with this build. It's gonna be- I don't really feel like explaining it because it might be kind of difficult to explain. But what I'm gonna be trying to do essentially, to sum it up anyway, is I want... to, uh... try and create a tooth... like a gear and tooth system for the boom arm and not use pistons at all. I think that'd be amazing. You are the best, thanks, Ethan. Still loving you. I'm gonna have to, I can't remember, man. I love music. I just go through musical, like, not phases necessarily, but like artists and stuff like that. And I just like listen to a specific artist for a really, like not for a long time, but for a very concentrated amount of time. And my most recent one was Men at Work. I did a deep dive into Men at Work and it was awesome. I think I was okay with it being right back here, right? I mean, at the end of the day, I think there should still be- Yeah, there is still technically going to be blocks here. Like this. Yo, Hunter! Thank you so much for the super chat! How are you going- How am I- How am I doing a Lego build? Well, I'm using Lego as a reference. Um, so... What- Because obviously there's probably some type of crane that exists out there. That looks like this, right? Uh, but it's in I enjoy using the Lego uh, as inspiration for the designs mainly because of the color schemes as well as the general block to block not ratios necessarily but like the block to block uh, design principles transfer over extremely well from a reference image as opposed to something that exists in real life uh, but thank you so much hunter for the super chat and thank you so much for the question get globic fresine besson I think I'll eat a broom Eat my hat or eat my SBTs. <laughs> eat my bacon, SBTs? Well, bacon, that sounds... Bacon. Bacon. That doesn't bacon, sound very PG-13. <laughs> bacon. 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 It's your bacon, birthday, Owen! Bacon. Happy birthday. Bacon. Bacon. Is anyone else in the mood for bacon right now, or is that just me? Has anyone else been having bacon on their mind? No? <laughs> Yo, thank you so much, Dark, for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Dark. Someone shared a clip of me in Discord talking about how I'm not I'm I'm not grateful for super chats anymore. I'm like jaded to the super chats now. Do you guys feel that way? Like some ice cream. I love you. I love you too, Ethan. And I'm telling you. I'm gonna love you. A Baconator from Wendy's? No. <laughs> I- I know- Dead Tool, I'm glad- I'm- it's- I was joking too, by the way. I- I know you know that you know that we both know that that's what you said. <laughs> I just wanted to put you on the spot without putting you on the spot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You like how I opened it with ambiguity? Someone on the Discord. I, I don't know who. But someone on the Discord. <laughs> oh, having a straight line like this is not always a good idea. So is this 45 degrees? It's not, is it? Is it 30 or 40? I don't know. I'm comfortable being the center of attention. <laughs> I 
I think that the color should be at least 90 to 95% exact. What? Yo, Wonderkin! Good to see you! Now I gotta do some quick shopping. That's right. Uh, let's just go straight to a screw. Not even gonna get me dinner. And, uh, there we go. Just to kind of add some more little layers. So I think I will get rid of the, uh, third seat. I mean, it just feels wide, doesn't it? What do you guys think? Is it too wide? Why does everybody think that bratwurst with sauerkraut is a thing? Maybe because we're all convinced it's a thing? I don't know. <laughs> when will I play Trailmakers with fans again? It's a good question. Next question, please. <laughs> we'll do it again soon. It's looking good. It's a wide boy. It did, I, I mean, I guess I'm, if I'm following the, the reference and stuff like that, then it is... Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's okay to be three seat. You gotta go. This one's not on us. It isn't a thing. Well, I don't know, at some point, someone, sometime, said it's a thing. I gotta just save this picture. I'm just gonna... Can I save this picture? If I go full screen? Oh, there we go. I can just go full screen. Okay, perfect. That's much better. Yo, Master Blastoise, good to see ya! How you doing? Lego is wide in real life. You never watch live streams, but this seems interesting. Well, thank you. <laughs> you know, we always try and have a good time here on the streams. I'm sure everyone here in the chat can agree on that, right? We're always having fun. I'm always building amazing works of art and scrap mechanic. <laughs> you eat bratwurst with fries? I don't know. I thought it was bratwurst with sauerkraut. <laughs> So these painted up are going to help. So I guess technically this is where we would uh, have um, some of the fender part. Okay, so no, this is where we're going to get... Um, this is where the crane hook will be strapped to the truck and restrained for driving. Super Moonbow Land. Bratwurst with bread and mustard. Yeah, I like a sausage and mustard, you know? I mean, I... I'm always even fine with, um... Like, I'll eat some fried bologna and, uh, and some mustard, you know? I'm not a complicated man. <laughs> Yo, Bose, what's going on? Nice hair? I'm wearing a hat right now. You can't see my hair. Curry worst. Yeah, my inventory bar feels all unorganized right now. Give me anxiety. You've never heard of fried bologna? You saw the clip? Oh. <laughs> Was it a life-changing experience for you? Oh, wait. Whoops. Technically, I want this to go down one. And it is in the front of the elbow there. Your here is nice. Take off your hat. Woo, woo. Take it off, Moombo. All right, I'll stop talking again. <laughs> when you put down your hat, 
Like I said in yesterday's stream, the hat is now fused to my skull. You found a crane like mine? Yo, John Zink, what's going on? You just got into Scrap Mechanic right on. The best of luck to you on your building journey. What if under his rat is a rat controlling his every movement? Uh, Master Blastoise, I'm pretty sure that's just the, uh... Pretty sure that's just the, uh, entire premise of Ratatouille. <laughs> Yoloist, what's going on? You were looking for the moon, but only found a moon bow? I think most people would agree that that's a much more magical experience to witness in life, actually, so... Hat fused with hair? What if I told you that my hat was actually my hair woven into the shape of a hat? What now? <laughs> one light is yellow, one is orange. Then I would be impressed. <laughs> Do you ever see that old school? Okay, this is an old video. We're going into the uh, Into the time capsule of the internet here for this one, but do you guys remember the old school video that was like the beard contest or whatever? For a long time, I thought it was real this video, but some like it was like a beard contest and then at the end this dude comes out with his beard and the whole beard is a birdcage around his head, and he can, like, open the door. Have you ever seen that? Oh, my God. Old internet. Most of you are probably too young to even know that exists. Show it? <laughs> you remember that video? Oh, yeah, he comes out, and he's like, hmm, the whole thing, and he, like, opens it up and stuff. Oh, my God. Nonsense beard sculptures. <laughs> it was hilarious. I thought it was real, but apparently it's not real. It was fake. I'm also old. When did the stream start? This looks unfinished. Rowan, you have some amazing powers of... What's the word I'm looking for? Amazing powers of observation. That's it. I don't speed build anymore when I build in Scrap Mechanic. I used to really try and build as quick as I could to get stuff done as fast as possible. Um, but I'm over that now. I want to hang out with you guys, have, good, have a good time. Build at a reasonable pace. At a reasonable pace. Taking my time. So I can breathe easy. That's nice. I like covering that up. Do I like the new block pulling so you can count better? I mean, I haven't really... I don't... It's never been much of an issue for me when it comes to counting, because actually, I always listen to the sound. This is like a small tip. Well, it's not... You don't need it as much anymore, but if you listen to the sound... Okay, hold on. Let me stop the music here. Listen to this, okay? Listen to the sound. So you hear the sound, right? You can, so what I used to do, and still to this day, is I listen to the audio cues, right? So you can actually be like, and you can hear the broop. Hear that? So you go, do 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 do, do 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 do. So you listen to the sound of the blocks. And so that's what I would use to, to kind of consistently build. Hey, Godzilla. You don't hear anything at all? Maybe you're not- you're not wearing headphones, are you? The ultimate eyesight? Now, there's only so much I can do with this shape here, actually. 
I'll put those there for now, but they're probably not gonna stay. I'm actually just gonna get rid of them now, actually. They're, they're not gonna stay, it's official. <laughs> Surround sound computer speakers. I'm over here! I'm over here! It's very quiet. Yeah, it was probably pretty quiet. That's okay. Those who heard it, heard it. And those who couldn't hear it, didn't hear it. Scrapman had a good idea. Oh, yeah, that's, uh... It's one of those things that you would actually... You're, you'd be surprised to find out that the game doesn't have it as a feature. <laughs> now, do I want another row of these lights? That's the question here. Because there's a lot of lights on the front of this truck. So this is where the hook is going to go. For the crane arm, right? I guess I'll just paint it black for now. You heard it from your iPad? There you go. If Madman can hear it from his iPad, then you can hear it from your surround sound speakers. Thinking of turning your bass drum into a stand-up bass? Can you do that? What shape is that? It is a pipe shape. Okay, nice. Okay, that is, in fact, a pipe shape. Now, it is kind of annoying that the elbows aren't the appropriate sh shape here. They're not the right size. What's well, actually really annoying, if I'm being honest. But I think what I'll do then, in that case, is, uh, we have to... We have to make sure that there's actually room for the thing to go, right? But so maybe what I'll do is just, like, normal pipes here? And this is where the crane can latch onto, right? Don't forget to paint the lights. Don't worry. Thank you for reminding me. The lights look lit. <laughs> you guys are lucky I don't time you out for bad jokes in the chat. How have a channel with these streams and have a reference image there? to wonder what I'm building. That's not a bad idea, actually. That is not a bad idea. What is this creation for? Absolutely nothing. What is any creation for in Scrap Mechanic? <sighs> Absolutely nothing. Don't forget the license plate. Yeah, I don't think I have, a, or wait, is there a, yeah, there is the default license plate now, right? That will go like down here. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Does it stick out a bit? It does stick out a little bit, actually. So maybe what we'll do is... Oh. Something like that instead. Right? I'm not sure if this is all supposed to be black or not here. I'll paint it for now, but maybe we'll change it. To try it out and have fun. <laughs> a YouTube guitar builder. The mini plane inside the big plane? Ah, classic. So there's some more underneath here. It's almost like that's the beginning of the truck frame or something like that, but... So some things it's kind of like, you know, a balance of like, is this just Lego being Lego? Because it has to be? Or is it, uh, you know, the way it should be visually, you know? But I mean, I guess that's kind of the some of the fun here. Because I know for a fact that we need to cover this up from the inside, like so. And I think we will go all the way back minus one. Why did the golfer change his pants? Because he got a hole in one. <laughs> so that goes under there. There's supposed to be another pipe piece here. Yeah, this, so that does stay there. We're gonna paint this yellow. I think this is gonna lock in. What do you actually want to be, a streamer or a YouTuber? Wait, someone, you're gonna have to explain the difference to me then. <laughs> Yo, Ivan. You can give me some tips. Hey, Cookie Gamer. 
they're all electric line webs. No, not all of them. That's not true. I've got some builds that are pretty simple, right? What part are we on? We're just doing the front here. Yo, expat, I'm ignoring you? Yeah. <laughs> then explain to me how I literally just read that. How did I see that message if I'm ignoring you? Huh? Huh? Oh yeah, no, I'm I am I agree. I would agree that I am definitely on the side of being more of a streamer than a YouTuber, I guess. But I mean, let's be real here. Are we like how, how like what's the are we trying to define these things? Moombo in the background for inspiration. <laughs> Where are the wheels? Because because Moombo's ignoring me. Well, eventually I'm just gonna ignore all of you. And then how would you feel about that? Hey, okay? it wouldn't make me feel good. I don't want to have to do that. That is way too high. But mind you, I guess maybe take a look at the seat first. Maybe it's a little bit too tall. Maybe. Let's try it one lower. Since when have you had these emotes? I just added a whole bunch of brand new emotes. I've been, I've been working hard. I stayed up. This is not even a joke. It's not even a joke. So don't even think about laughing. I stayed up until like two in the morning. I almost said four in the morning, but that's a lie. I stayed up till like two in the morning working on emotes and everything. Earth to Moonbow. Can I show you what I'm trying to build? Well, there's a thumbnail. The thumbnail of the stream is literally this entire thing. This is what happens when you ignore us. Romantic cat face. 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 You know what? The joke's on you because I like romantic cat faces. I'm not into weird things or anything like that. You know, I, I know it's romantic, but like, <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop talking now. Not gonna keep embarrassing myself. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much for the super chat, Dead Tool. Really appreciate it. It's been a while since you dono spammed. Yeah, I thought the gifted memberships was gonna save us from that. <laughs> hey, Lego nerd. I'm not. You can't sit there and tell me that if a cat was looking at you with the romantic eyes, you wouldn't feel something. I don't even want to hear it from you guys. Sorry, did not see the thumbnail. What did you do? Just magically appear in the stream somehow? Do I like space? I've never been, so I don't, honestly, any opinion that I would have on space is not going to be a very good one. As your lawyer, I would advise you not to say anything about the romantic cat faces. <laughs> so I will shut up then. <laughs> so I guess technically I could just seal that like that. Right? Yeah, we'll just do that. Ban Moonbow. That cat would certainly just be manipulating you into feeding it. <laughs> you know what? I think you're onto something. Or this could happen if you ignore us. Pig nose. Romantic cat face. Pig nose. Romantic cat face. Pig nose. Romantic cat face. Pig nose, romantic cat uh, face. I don't. Oh, pig you're nose, lucky. Wait. Romantic oh, I'm not. Cat I was, face. <laughs> pig nose, romantic. I was gonna cat mute face, it, but I can't find nose, the mute button. Romantic cat face. I, I don't know where the mute button is. Cat face. 
pig nose, romantic cat face, pig nose, romantic cat face, pig nose, romantic cat face. Dark, thank you so much for the super chat. But at what cost? At what cost was the super chat? Really appreciate it. Oh, so now, Dead Tool, now I understand what you were talking about about Moombo getting jaded with regards to super chats. <laughs> oh, man. This is looking really good now. Look at the, I love this. Covering up those edges there. Like, look at that. That's beautiful. Five dollars was the cost. It was a rhetorical question, okay? I didn't want you answering that. I I enjoy when I ever need pipes, I always just search for pip. And I don't know why, but I just love it. There's something about it. Every time I need to go into the inventory and find pipe, I just have a lot of fun going pip. And it's the little things in life that bring you joy, okay? Don't judge me. Your face is priceless. Yo, Brian Godfrey, good to see you. It feels good to be back. B, B, B. It's good to have you back. Really like these shapes here. Really like it. Looks good. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. Yo, Arnie, you gotta go see you later, right? Make music with super chats? Don't give people any ideas, please. Don't give- don't encourage them. You sorry you weren't there at the end of the stream? No need to apologize! Hey, Cindy, what's going on? And Polar's Warrior? Hello, hello. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Trying out the old mod command- admin commands in chat. <laughs> Okay, so this is actually not supposed to be... Ooh, ah. A little bit of an issue on my part here, I believe. Hmm. Okay, I see. So technically, this would be painted black as well. I'm not opposed to that. It doesn't look bad. Uh, I guess we need some more paint here before we can fully judge it. No music. We don't want any music. Uh, wait, that's supposed to be black as well, isn't it? Should have been using Lego instructions. <laughs> you got a free, you got a coffee table? Hey, that's- you know what, there's- you got to admit that there's worse ways to be woken up, right? <laughs> it would have been better if they dropped it off and was like, Hey, we just dropped off your brand new coffee table. <laughs> Currently at work? Well, Anonymous Rides, I hope you're having a great day at work so far. And maybe you might get to relax a little bit, watch a little bit of stream. So it's almost like I do need to bring this back here. Man, I keep so... So this is something that I've gotten so used to in the past. So right now, see, you know how they... We were talking about this earlier. They added the... Um, they added the tiling effect here when you click and drag. So if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure back in the day, um, the glass tile block would drag the same way. So every time now, when I drag out some blocks, I keep thinking I'm using um, the tiled glass. It's like ingrained in my brain and it's going to take some time to go away. Earlier I made it look like Ukraine's flag. I mean, some flags are pretty simple, you know, <laughs> when something's two colors. I'm in the car headed to your house right now. Well, see, that's, you got to apply pressure, you know. 
You have to apply that pressure. Otherwise, it's like, yeah, maybe I'll take that, you know, one of these days. And it's like, no, you're taking it now. You have an exam for a book. All right, Boreal, best of luck. I, I have, uh, it's been confirmed that if you uh, are in the stream and I wish you luck on one of your challenges in life, that um, good fortune will come to you. No guarantee, though, so don't come crying to me if you fail. <laughs> Why isn't the Lego truck miniature? I don't know. Why is the sun in the sky? You think of the gross tile block? That's what I'm talking about. Can't wait to point out every mistake you made later. You oh, you know what? That's probably exactly why you got banned, John. Is because you were... I remember now. You were just complaining about my build and saying how bad it was. <laughs> it's all coming back to me. Still passed? I mean, if you didn't finish something and somehow managed to pass, well, I guess... Uh... Good on ya. Okay, so those are the legs there. I'm just gonna keep working my way back on the uh, whole cab here, because it's gonna lead us to wheels. What is the song currently? All right, follow me, Hippo, I got you. The current song is called Discontinue by Monomer. This is from the album Quite Operational. Discontinue by Monomer. Maybe the sun is not in the sky. <laughs> Alright. Have a great shower, John. <laughs> Never judge a book build by its cover. <laughs> gonna make you understand. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Dark, thank you so much for the 10 bomb super chat. Really appreciate that. And that, I don't know, if you guys don't know, so back in the 80s, there was only one dance. And it was this. That was the dance of the 80s. Snapping your fingers and like wiggling around weirdly. It's the 80s! Thank you so much, Dark, for the super chat. Imagine showering. I just did. There you go. <laughs> Look what you started in the chat. I'm okay with a little bit of Rick Astley. You could make different types of Lego bricks and scrap mechanic. That sounds like a lot of work. Uh, okay, this album is done. Let's switch it up. New music. How do you shower your beard? So there's this thing actually... It's kind of like... Have you ever seen, you know, bird baths, right? It's kind of like a bird bath. So I just go out into the backyard. The crucial thing is that uh, it uses rainwater. It collects rainwater. Hence the whole bird bath thing, right? It collects rainwater. And... Uh, you know, I, you, I just dip my beard into the bird bath. Bonus points if there are birds in the bath while you're doing it. It's actually, uh... Very good for the skin. <laughs> Hobo chic. Seventy nine was a good year. <laughs> Is Mambo here? Have I missed Mambo somehow? Eight wheel turning. Does this thing have eight wheel turning? Does it really? Just let it soak for five minutes. It's actually like boiling pasta, you know, like you sometimes you just got to boil up some water put the beard in there and boil it up like a bunch of noodles and then you know your beard is done actually you can take a beard hair out and if you throw it at the wall and it sticks to the wall 
then you know your beard is done. Alright, it's time to shut up. There's a bird's nest inside my beard. <laughs> ah, you uh, you found the real reason. The real one. She hasn't dropped by yet? Sounds refreshing. It is. What if there's bird poop? No, you. that's gross. That's disgusting. Why would you have bird poop? <laughs> Six wheel turning. Yo, ho, yo, Fink. Good to see you. The vibes in chat today are interesting. Yeah, you might, you could blame me for some of that probably, it's okay. Okay, hold on, so that goes there. So technically this would be here. Like that. We're just gonna keep it relatively simple. It's the beard cleaning Moombo. <laughs> yeah, beards are great actually. You know those like fluffy shower sponges? You don't need one when you have a beard. You just put all of your body wash in your beard. I'm not gonna, you have to really be flexible. Music is good, it is good, isn't it? Wedge gang, you know what, here. Here's one for my, my wedge bros. There you go. One for the wedge gang. You you enjoy, you tried the mini golf? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun yesterday trying it out. It's a great way to showcase the uh, all of the potential of the custom game modes. I would say, right? Has anyone listened to the full Dune soundtrack? Have you ever heard of Jean Michel Jarre? If you like the Dune soundtrack and stuff like that, I think you might get a really good kick out of it. Jean-Michel Jarre. Amazing stuff. ACDC? Not a fan of ACDC. Two cup of noodles, I only have 26 of you left time, one noodle closer to death. <laughs> Dark, thank you so much for the super chat. You only have 26 cup of noodles left? Unacceptable. Unacceptable. You know, meme games. Spice. Ba -na -na. Ba -na -na. So this is actually supposed to be indented, I'm realizing. And so I know the Lego would like me to, um, to give it some length. Right? But... That is not the same yellow. I'm telling you, that is not the same yellow. These are not the same yellow. That is... Slightly infuriating. Not really, though. Am I a fan of Metallica? I used to be a huge, huge fan of Metallica when I was a teenager. Um, the heavier stuff, I kind of... I think maybe I kind of grew out of some of the heavier music. I, not that Metallica is that heavy. But... I, uh, you know, I went through the Metallica phase when I was a teenager and kind of got over it a little bit, you know, and I didn't, I wasn't a big fan of their newer album, Saint Anger. I didn't like it very much. You still got most of his records? Yeah, Jean-Michel Jarre is really good if you, uh, want some, like, soundscape. Have I ever played Escape from Tarkov? No, I haven't, actually. I have never played Escape from Tarkov. And I don't think I ever will, to be honest with you, because I've watched a little bit of it on some other streamers, and, uh, not for me. <laughs> nope. Whoops. Yeah, St. Anger sucks. Yeah, I was not, like, I mean, let's, we can appreciate that, like, some new music from a musical, like, a musician or a musical group is, like, obviously, objectively better then no music at all, right? Like, that's for sure. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and, uh, and be like, mm, I'd rather they had just never made more music. Like, that would be a ridiculous thing to say. Okay, these lights just aren't, they aren't what we want. I think I might be able to just get away with these lights. Maybe what we'll do is, uh, 
something like this. Oh, okay, so that... Okay, maybe I would prefer it to be this way. Yeah, this is the appropriate orientation, I would say. Because we'll just go right up to the edge like that. There we go, perfect. And I think those will remain orange. You like how no one here is using proper grammar? I mean... It's a stream chat room. I don't think the grammar police are gonna be hanging around here. And if they are... Well, then I hope they have a lot of tickets to write up. Is this a Lego set? Oh, uh, yeah, it's kind of... I mean, yes. I mean, this is a game called Scrap Mechanic. Grammar is fake. Grammar is a construct of society. Ah, you just know with grammar, it was like, hey, we can convey our ideas with each other. Oh, yeah, well... I convey my ideas more appropriately and accurately than you do. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna point out how... how uncapable you are... of being elite like myself. How do you... how dare you not like ACDC? What do you mean, how dare I not like ACDC? Here's every single ACDC song. Wah, wah, wah! Yo, Aaron. Okay, that one was not worth my throat. <laughs> BB King is one of the best ever. It's a matter of opinion. It absolutely is. That is not true. I'll be honest, there are some ACDC songs that I can be like, yeah, we're rocking out. We're... we're we rockin'. But overall, not my favorite. I'm just being honest. If you're gonna ask me a question, then I'm gonna answer that question honestly, okay? And if you don't like my answer, then I'll change my answer just for you. And we'll all pretend like we all love the same things in life. <laughs> Chester Bennington? Yeah, but see, Master Blastoise, the magic word right there was government. <laughs> this is looking pretty cool. The more we progress on this, the more I'm pretty happy with the overall look of it and the design. I don't know, you just listen to Jean-Michel Jarre, but it just hits different. I think Jean-Michel Jarre, um, I'm not gonna be the one to say that every single song or album written by Jean-Michel Jarre is, like, good. I, I think every artist has stuff that, I mean, it's hard to find an artist that every song is like, yeah, like, every song, every song. It's hard to find a musical artist like that, that just resonates with you so deeply, you know? And, I mean, at the end of the day, you're gonna like what you like, and, um, and that's good enough. What sign am I looking for here? I guess maybe just, like, the Beware of Farmbot sign? Ooh. Do I ever try and throw food in the air and catch it with my mouth? Honestly, no, I don't really do that. I've never been a fan of, like, I've just, I guess maybe it's because I'm not very good at it, but also... It was just never worth practicing doing that because I didn't want to drop food on the ground for no reason. How do you spell this? <laughs> you, I think you just spelled it, didn't you? <laughs> What's my favorite color? I don't know. You make more than 80k and you type like an a-hole? Well, thanks for censoring yourself in chat. <laughs> That was a real a-hole move of you. I think those are supposed to spin the lights, but we're not gonna build that in there. Okay, that's fine. So we're almost done the front here. And now this, I believe, is all one solid truck as well. So I'm assuming the four wheels at the front turn. Looking good today. <laughs> it's true, as long as you can get your point across, right? 
Could you add a reference picture to show? Okay, I will get a reference picture. Just for you guys. Because I need to I take a I need to take a break from building for a second anyway. My brain is building. Uh where can I get a picture of this? Okay, let's just go here. Hey, don't ask for gifted memberships in the chat, please. Don't be begging for that stuff. And yo, Edward K, it's it's going good, thank you for asking. How are you doing? Uh, Lego crane, or mobile crane truck. We'll get a reference image here because... Otherwise, uh, some people might, you know, get angry. Listen to the Shami Show Jaws like you have to listen to the entire album. It's very true, actually. Because a lot of the songs don't, like, they don't make sense. Uh, open in a new tab. Save the image. I'm doing all this for you guys right now, by the way. Desktop. I'm just going to put it on the desktop. As if I don't have enough clutter and garbage on my desktop as it is. <laughs> Just about to play some Forza Horizon, right on. There we go. There it is. Hey, Gunter. We got some true... There are some, uh, some true legends in the chat. Oh my god, please click the reference image there. Jeez. That's what we're working on. So this is what we're doing. Here, hold on. Let me. I can try and line this up here. Uh, I guess we should probably take it off the lift here. I'll line this up a little bit here. There it is. There we go. Now we can see the the comparison. It's not the same angle, but you get the idea. <laughs> The chat is literally green. Yeah, we got some members now, don't we? Tank steering? I don't know about that. Put it up in the corner? I mean, I could, but it just takes up a decent amount of space, you know? Like, this takes up a lot of room. What, does that- that doesn't bother you guys? All right, Ludwig, can you please stop spamming that, for the love of God? You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about? <laughs> yeah, there's, you know what, here we, look at this, guys. This is in Scrap Mechanic right now. Look, this is in the game. This is in the game right now. I made this. You made this? I made this. Set it as your green screen background? I don't know about that. Alright, Godzilla, take a break. See you later. Stop asking, stop begging. For gifted memberships, please. Did I put the cardboard in the window? I did! The cardboard is 100% in the window. It's 100p up in the window. Yo, Kanye, good to see ya, no worries. You don't think I made the cab wide enough? No way, you're lying. There's no way. This is plenty wide, isn't it? Is it not? I don't know. Okay, so this is the back of the truck here. We'll just fill this in now. I guess you're upstairs so your neighbors can't see you. <laughs> I am upstairs. My window's open right now, though, so I'm pretty sure... I don't always stream with my window open, but it's very- it's pretty warm today. Oh god. So, I can only imagine that there's possible that my neighbors are in their backyard right now. And they're just listening to me, like, talk nonsense with you guys. <laughs> Why is the cardboard in the window? Because the sun shines through. 
It's the perfect width. I think this is a good width. Personally, anyway. The Lego set has four seats. No, it doesn't. It has three. Are you kidding me? It has three. I mean, obviously the crane has its own seat, if that's what you're referring to. I understand that. The polar version? The only way to true darkness? It was- oh my god, what's that picture? Have you ever seen the, like, comic? Where it's like, the dude's at the computer and there's fireworks going off outside. And he, like, gets up and then shuts the blinds, like, angrily. <laughs> It's not like that at all, I swear. When the grid is even with, how are you going to align the crane bearing? I think this is actually off center a little bit, isn't it? Let me is there a top view of this tr of this vehicle? Is it perfectly centered? Is what I want to know. Okay, so it it is the f like the front four and back four wheel steering that's good to know you can make a two by two bearing it is off centered uh, yeah someone in someone in the chat said they have this build in front of them right now okay no technically it is supposed to you can make a two by two bearing I could Lego likes its thing centered it probably is centered you're probably right but the alternative to that, I mean, I guess here's the alternative then, right? Well, first things first, this won't fit anymore. Right? See a wonder? Yeah, I saw that Pixel made a video on it, actually. I did see that. <laughs> you have the bucket wheel excavator. Yeah, so maybe we should center it, right? The worst part of Lego sets are the stickers. I mean, yeah, I guess if, if they could just ship them out with the stickers already placed on the plastic pieces, that'd be kind of nice, but... At that point, you have to really kind of enjoy model making, pretty much. Sorry to break the magic. <laughs> yeah, this is some crazy magic happening here. Just make it off-center. What's the biggest thing on my bucket list? I don't even have a bucket list, honestly. So can I get an angle of this truck from the back a little bit here? Sort of. So that whole thing just rests it there. Oh no, wait, that is the back of the truck. Ooh, I see, that is the back of the truck. Okay, I'm seeing it now. So let me see, there's a really nice part that is really good for um, this here. I don't know what the name of it is. Yo, Blacktown Shadow, good to see you. I know what's on Jado's list. <laughs> hey, little creepers. Do you even... Do, bro, do you even have a bucket? <laughs> I'm getting shamed in the chat because I don't have a bucket. So this will be flat. Uh, and we're going to go in this direction, right? So technically, I guess technically we would probably want that to start a little bit farther back, right? Like that even? I think so. Well, hold on, because this is where the wheels are going to be as well. So this might be a little too, uh, that's like too high up, isn't it? We got to bring it down one. Let's actually get the wheels out. Hello, Amy White. How's it going? No buckets. I don't, you don't have a bucket either? Well, it looks like we're all going to be going to the hardware store. Yo, Mad Joe, good to see you. Welcome back. Want something off your bucket list? Why, are we just going to share bucket list items? Um, Modded wheels. I think I was just going to try. the. I mean, we can see what it's going to look like with a 2x5. And worst case scenario, we can up it. We can increase the size a little bit, right? So it's not a big deal. So the truck wheels, um... Yeah, I'm still not too sure if, uh... 
I'm gonna worry about centered or off centered or not, but we'll have a look. Kicking a bucket. Together, it's easier. <laughs> Team bucket list. So this is the small wheel. Uh, okay, let's just fake it a little bit better here. If we're gonna fake it till we make it, we gotta do it a little bit better than that, right? So that's that size wheel. Okay, that's okay. We are gonna do three by seven, aren't we? I think everyone in the chat is probably thinking like, "You're damn right, we're gonna do three by seven. Like that, right? I think that's what we want, isn't it? Amy White is your mom, just so you know. I had a feeling. Master Blastoise, you never have to take, or you never have to apologize for taking pictures of your pet. <laughs> Unless they were extremely offensive pictures, then definitely I demand an apology. Whoops. L, no buckets. 3x7 looks fine. Yeah, I think we'll do the 3x7, right? You're, da you're dang right we want the big wheels. Yeah, why would I even question? Why would I even doubt it for a moment? That that's what you guys would want or not want, right? Why would I doubt it? Yeah, so the crane is centered, but the crane cabin sticks out a little bit. Yeah, that's what, because that's what I was, like, noticing was, like, well, technically, the like, the crane arm is off to the side a little bit, but the, uh, the rotator is definitely centered, right? So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is get rid of the center, and I'm going to increase the width of this whole thing by one block. I think, personally, that that is what I want to do. If you don't agree with me, well, I don't care. We're going to make it one wider. Show me everything. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to make it a little bit wider. So let's see here. This is like cracking an egg open. Hey, Todd Isaac, what's going on? Multiplayer Monday was funny. Yeah, that was pretty funny. So we removed a block, right? This is the block we deleted. And then this is the block that we are adding to increase the width by one. As a 3D model of the Lego set. Well, I can I don't need a 3D model of the Lego set. I mean, I'm sure I could use it. I think there is one on the website already, actually, that I'm using anyway, isn't there? Um, well, let's just grab this now and attach it here. So, the, whoever was complaining about the truck cab not being wide enough, well, there you go. It's wider now. <laughs> Your wish is my command. Crane truck omelet. <laughs> yeah, you gotta crack open a few, uh, few cranes to make an omelet. You know what they say, right? Boss battles. Hey, Simon. Good to see you. What's my favorite food aside from spicy bacon twirls? I mean, it's mom spaghetti and chicken shawarma. Easy answer. It's just like cracking open an egg. I mean, this is a pretty wide... I mean, looking at the build, like the actual Lego thing, it's a wide vehicle. It definitely is. There's no doubt, right? I can't deny it. It's pretty wide. So that's what we're doing now. We're going wider like that. You love the videos that you guys do? Well, thanks for watching. Yeah, I think it's just this is the way to go. Uh, having the centered rotating section of this thing is, I think, just gonna be like pretty important. Like, it's why not, you know, why not deal with it now? instead of dealing with it later. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? The Lego build doesn't even look Lego. Well, this is Lego Technics or whatever. 
So it's not your, like, traditional... It's not your traditional um, Lego build, right? It's the Technics one, which is more advanced. Looks fantastic for now. We've got John's approval. Life is good. There we go. That's not bad, right? That's not bad at all. The front piece. Don't worry, guys. It's all a work in progress. You know, you could literally be like, Moombo, you forgot the crane part. You didn't do the crane part. And it's like, I know, I haven't done it yet. I'm not there Looking yet. Good. Give me a moment. Next stream, I need the wedge emote, though. <laughs> Yo, Stinger, thank you so much for the super chat. And that is an emote that I actually said I was going to add a while ago. You're not wrong. That is an emote that I'm going to be doing for show. No doubt about it. You forgot the wheels. Yo, thank you so much, Stinger. Yeah, I've been meaning to do the wedge emote, actually. You forgot the whole truck. These paint, don't they? Yeah, it's very important that these pieces paint. Because there's also, like, uh... So these would go here. And then, so these are painted orange. That looks really nice. I like that. Who's this Chad? <laughs> it has three in the main cab and one on its own. Yeah, definitely. So what I could do though, I could still have three seats here. I'll just have the two passenger seats coupled together like that. And then uh, have the driver's seat off to the side. I like that, that's not bad. Don't give Moonbo photos of your cat. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. These are now uh, broken. Thank you for pointing out the sarcasm there before you got banned. Looks good so far. It's not too bad. So technically, there would be a gap here. Uh, whoops, I guess I gotta go an extra one. So let's see, this will mount here, right? Like so. The gap, okay, you know, well technically we don't need the gap. I guess ideally it would be something like that though, right? Like, cause it's supposed to be like a little rounded. But I don't know, let me see. Oh, it won't, uh... Oh, there it goes. Okay, finally. Uh, well, actually, wait, what am I doing? I should be sizing these to the wheels, actually. That's very important. If I'm gonna be doing... What the heck? What am I supposed to search for here? Oh, okay, it's just a bun... It's just a bunch of random UUID numbers or whatever. Ah, oh, well. Three by seven. I don't want that one. Where is the one I want? This is the one here, right? Yeah, I think that's the 3x7 that we want to see. Hmm. Well, maybe we could get away with having um, the, the duct pieces. Lois, Lois, good to see you. Welcome back. Don't rush. Yeah, no, I'm not rushing. That's one thing I don't do anymore in my build streams is rush. A wrecking ball on it. Technically, I think we could, in theory, have a wrecking ball on it, for sure, actually. We could add an attachment for that. We could have it come with a bunch of different attachments. Which I think could be pretty cool. That's a good idea. I like it. I like it a lot. Do the wheels have rims? Yeah, oh yeah, there are whim- uh, whims. Rims. My design is really good. Well, we can thank the designers at LEGO. The Lego creative team doing half the work for me. Let's be real though, it's it's the concepting part, right? That's what the uh, that's why it's a lot of fun doing these Lego builds is because the concepting is done for you, you know. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sarcasm. Am I gonna build my or I post my build on the Steam Workshop? I pretty much put everything onto the Steam Workshop workshop eventually. A German mobile crane? Yo, digger drums! There was two different 3x7 wheels? Yeah, but this is the one I want. That's the 3x7 that I want, right? It's this one. Because this is the super slick. I don't want super slick. I want a, like a, a little bit more like a tractor wheel. So that's obviously going to be higher up though. The cab will be higher up like that. Somewhere around here. Because the wheels are going to be flush to that. If only... I could build as good as that. Hey, Daniel, you just gotta practice. Practice and practice some more, you know? I'm doing good today, thank you for asking. I hope you're having a great day as well. So there was supposed to be another shape here, I realize. So I think I want this part to come back one more, I guess. That's going to break that, isn't it? Oh, whoops. I think this is what I want here. Like that. Because there's like a... I guess it's just a pipe piece like this, right? That goes down. I want that. It's a nice little piece of detail that I think is pretty important. It adds a little bit more structural kind of uh, visual... Yo, Dragon, welcome back. I'm doing good, thanks for asking. So the question is, do I really... I don't know if I really want to put the duct piece on this end here. I don't think it's necessary. We'll just start with it like that. And then maybe have our pieces go like this. This is subject to change anyway. So it's two in the center, and then we'll do another one like that, okay. And then this goes here, like that. See you later, Rowan. Hey, Blackbird, welcome back as well. I hope you're doing well. How good are you at suspension building? Um, I mean, I've built some various types of suspension. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm uh, a wizard at suspension, you know? I'm not, like, a car guy, so I don't really know a lot of that stuff generally beyond Scrap Mechanic, right? So I think what I might try and get away with here... Or I say get away with. Okay, if I do that, it stays. Because I feel like I... Okay, can I get a view from higher up here? There we go. That's what we want. Okay, so we don't want to double down on these. We don't want to double up. So what I will do, I think, is just complete it with uh, blocks that go all the way through. This will just be like a nice little anchor point for the building blocks as well. You should make a mech dwarf. Wicked to have the Technic's instructions. People have suggested that in the past, like, hey, it'd be cool if you use the instructions to build your Lego builds. Uh, I think it'd be pretty neat. But I mean, it's just, to me, it's kind of like adding a lot more work into the build, in a sense. You know, it's hard to explain, but you gotta go sleep, no worries. Hey, yo, Austin, so good to see you. Welcome back. Double up or double down. It's looking good, thanks, Leanne. Yeah, we're working pretty good here so far. So this is just for the front wheel set, right? This is only for the front wheel set here. So one thing I really like to use, actually, is the uh, brand new uh, beams that they've added. Where is it? Give me a beam. Industrial long beam. Beam. 
I like using this to build from as like the uh, the main truck like frame. It does it does give a good effect of like a solid frame too. The music is awesome. Yeah, this is some really good music. We're listening to Monomer at the moment. Try to pick up something heavy with the crane. I mean, we'll do that once we actually have a crane, I guess. <laughs> once we get there, we will cross that bridge. This is interesting. I'm glad you are finding some value in this. <laughs> so I think we have a center on these, don't we? Let me just check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, crap. Oh, wait, but this one has the extra one. And, oh, okay, so technically if we use that one, so this would be like nine, right? So it would be one, two, three, four. And then four on the other side, which means this is the center here, right? Which means that one, two, three, one, two, three, here is the center as well. There we go, okay. Nice. Building the frame up. Smash something with the wrecking ball. Dark, you got it all fixed? You are the pro. They that's why they pay you the big bucks, right? Is because you are the master at that. Just lurking playing some Minecraft. Hope that's all good. Yeah, that's Yeah, you're allowed to live your life however you want. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that you need to change what you're doing. Thanks for checking in, though. Hey, Janji. Hello, hello again. And yo, Monkey Boy, how's it going? This is a pretty neat idea. It is. It's a good, uh, it's a good crane system. Whoa, that is not the center at all. How did I put that there? Oh my god, that's not where that was supposed to be. Yeah, that was not in the right spot. Yeah, I definitely placed that back beam wrong. <laughs> that was a guaranteed bad placement. So now we're going to get a bit more of an idea of these wheels position here a little bit, right? I guess we're going to want a gap, right? I don't know about suspension. I might forego suspension though, right? No suspension. So that way we can save as many frames as possible. Does that sound good? The two front axles is turning axles, right? Well, I believe in the Lego build, uh, the way it works is they just, the front four wheels turn together and the back four wheels turn together. I have a little diagram here that shows it. Uh, but yeah, might need to be wider. I think this is wide enough. I'm, I'm stopping there on the width. So, I would want this to be down one more technically here, right? No suspension. Yeah, I'm thinking just no suspension, just strictly for lag. Just saving as many frames as possible because I have some ideas. I got some really cool ideas for this crane mechanism. Might tip over. Well, this is going to have uh, outriggers. You've been working 15 hours? Oh my god, jeez. Are you done for the day now then? Oh my god. So now we have room for one block. So we need to do the turning. Oh my god, I got crap in my eye. If you're only doing four axles, I would use the front two for turning. I don't know, I mean, I'm gonna probably end up using... I'm gonna just have all the wheels steer individually anyway, so... You can place the two rear wheels on each side on a bar pivoting in a center bearing. I was thinking about doing that. I could have the turning mechanism be centered in between here like this and put a bearing there, right? And turn off of that. But I think I want to give each each wheel the power of a, a turning bearing, right? Done for the week, nice. I could make a Lego scene with all the creations I made. Yeah, well, I, uh, I've been meaning to do another uh, video on my most recent uh, my most recent Lego builds. You know, I've got a few of them now built up, so it might be a bit of an idea to, to do that. We'll see. Uh, let's see now, though. We're going to try... 
And I'll use... I'm just gonna use blocks, I think. It's just easier to just use blocks. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, this is three, isn't it? So that should go out all the way, right? Okay, it will. We just have to make sure that the wheels can turn around that. Have a steering bar? I could do that. You meant to simulate suspension for the Wii or Wii? Oh, well, you mean like the bogey style one or whatever? If you do the bearings on the outside and not the center, you'll have to worry too much about tra tire travel. So you guys really... Okay, you know what? I think it might be pretty cool, actually, to do the... Um, we can do the center mechanism. Why not, right? Let's try it out. Of course, that's exactly where we need to build, where the uh, lift is. Gotta love it. It's not like you can rewind it. Your internet decided you've watched enough. Are you, like, in, living in a remote area where you have to use, like, satellite internet or something? And you're reaching, like, your bandwidth limit or something like that? What's going on? What's wrong with your internet? It's unacceptable. So I'm using... I'm gonna use the low friction block here. Just so that way it doesn't get caught up. So we're thinking something like this, eh? And then bearings on either side here. It looks like it has something to prevent it from falling over. Alaska moment. <laughs> Feels Alaska, man. the same side pivots. That's good! That's actually really good, isn't it? I think I need to move it to the front just by one more block, maybe. I think that's just a slightly too big of a gap. Oh, so many Germans in the chat. I think I might just move this whole mechanism up one block, though. It's kind of sitting a little too far back. Germans starting to talk about Germany's slow internet. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go here instead. Why, though, they move so far forward and back with just one center bearing? Well, Mad Joe, I don't know if you're aware or not, but I know you. I don't know if you've played in a while, but you can change the uh, a bearing's uh, angle of travel, right? You can you can make all those adjustments now. So, if something is turning too much, we can very easily just reduce that, right? Where the rims at? We will get the rims. Don't you worry. I'm surprised you're also not asking where the crane is. Why haven't you added the crane yet, Moonbo? We want crane. We want crane. It looks like the wheel should be a block further out. You think so? Technically, yes. You're probably right. You're probably right. And it's actually easy to do at this point in terms of making those adjustments. Uh, we'll take a look at it, though. It's, it takes nothing to try that out, right? Painted bearings. Yeah, we're painting my... We're painting the bearings. What are you talking about? I'm painting my bearings. Bed still didn't break. I don't. The beds still don't break. <laughs> I don't think the beds break. It. I don't think they ever made the beds break. What I'm saying is, yeah. So I can take this like this, pop that there, right? And so, yes, you're right. That is a crazy amount of turning. It, it might be a little bit too much. It might not be. We'll we'll figure that out when the time comes. But what we can easily do is come in here and be like, okay, you know what? How about we only do 11 degrees in each direction? And now we have uh, a more controlled turn there, right? Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to make my opening here.
You're watching in VR right now. <laughs> uh, you know, that's peak paying for VR, isn't it? Oh, I just got my first VR headset. Oh, really? What did you do yesterday? I watched Moonbow. Uh, let's go mod parts. Three by seven. There it is. That's a good enough rim. Because I think there might be... This truck rim might be even better, actually. But see, it, why? It doesn't fit there. I have to use the 4x9. But it sticks out the back anyway, which actually kind of looks cool. If I'm being honest, that looks pretty neat. I mean, I guess that works, doesn't it? I hand it yellow. Wait, that's still not one block out farther? I thought I... I thought I dealt with that. Because I think it... Okay, I feel like I'm actually... I'm going to move this back again. I think it's actually now too close. I'm kind of torn. <laughs> VR scrap mechanic. Well, now that they have the, uh, like, the camera working properly, it could look pretty sweet. What did you miss? Well, you missed some scrap, some ex some ex exciting, riveting scrap mechanic action. That's what you missed. Build it with two turning bars. Well, I'm gonna. I have to do two sets of wheels, right? The question is, is this too close to the front? I guess no, it's not. That's actually a good. Uh, that's a good distance there. I would say. I like it. We are the knights who say knee, knee. What do you want? A shrubbery? Yeah, this is good. This is good. Yo, Dark Yellow. Good to see you. What wheel mod am I using? Steven, I'm using uh, Karasu. I believe it's Karasu's uh, wheel pack. Or wheels. Sorry, it's wheels by Karasu. So there we go, right? Uh, no, wait, no, we're going out one farther. I'm not gonna fall for that again. Well, this is looking good. Oh, I didn't paint it. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. There we go. I won't let it happen again. You were listening to War Pigs? That's actually, that's a pretty good Black Sabbath song. I will say, that is definitely a good one. Team Dark Side. It's awesome in VR. So this set is also going to turn, right? If I disconnect this and reconnect it, does it re-default? It does. That's kind of nice. That's an easy way to reset your bearing. Not bad, not bad. You meant two turning bars per axle? Well, I'm not going to overcomplicate this build like that, right? I don't think I need to overcomplicate a, a, something as simple as turning, you know? Because, like I said, I have some really cool ideas for the crane boom arm. Some really cool ideas. And I'm so I really want to try and save as many frames as possible for it. Because it's a really cool idea. It's a really neat idea. Really excited to try it out. And I guess we're just going to see how that goes when we get there. Will we get there today? I don't know. So one thing I can do for sure is locate the position of the next wheels, right? That's a that's an easy one. That's a no-brainer. Uh, we'll do that. 
So we'll do that. And I'll do this, and this, and that, and that, and then that. So I think what I'll do here... So there's a couple ways I could do this. Uh, first things first, the easy way, uh, we can try it with some of these wedges here. Uh, maybe not with these wedges. I mean, technically I would want it to be like that, right? So, I mean, if I do it with the wedges, I suppose I would need to, uh, start with that wedge first. Like that instead. That's not bad. I think that works. It does kind of suck that it's not, like, I can't paint these sides here, which I think is actually the thing that's going to make me not do it that way, is because I can't paint them. Uh, so maybe I'll just give it a shot with the old 45 degree... Right? Yeah, I think that works. Music. What do South Africans drink iconically? I have no idea. So we're gonna put another screw. there. Whoops. Like that. And I think what I'll do is I'll move this one to the second one. Just to see that hole there next to it. I think that adds a nice little effect. I don't know what anyone's drinks are. I don't know. Why are you guys asking drinks? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Look in hashtag pets. Why? Did you, did you just upload some pet pictures? Check this out. This might be kind of cool. Throw one of these here like this. Boom. Boom. And then put one of these bad boys on either side, maybe. And then just paint them all black. That looks pretty cool. It reminds you of Sonic 2. Well, that's not a bad thing. Sonic music has always, in my mind, been pretty good. Sonic music is always catchy, full of energy, but not, like, annoying and overly repetitive. Like, Green Hill Zone? There's nothing like Green Hill Zone, am I right? You have this and it's in your room? That's awesome. I know, Texas Gaming, good to see ya. I don't care about the lore going on right now. <laughs> See you later, Wandering. Special type of pet. Maybe beer? Maybe. Maybe. So, this section here... I believe, is supposed to just have a uh, yellow here. Uh, maybe we could just do it all the way across like that. Right? Like so. And then we'll paint all of that yellow. There it is. And technically this should just be open, right? Um, okay, we don't need that there anymore, so we'll open that up even more. There we go. This is looking a lot like the Lego build, actually. The damn kangaroos. And those things look aggressive. I wouldn't try. I would never trust a kangaroo in my whole life. If I ever saw a kangaroo, I'd be turning the other way. I want nothing to do with it. Get your kangaroos away from me. Dark beans. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good of a computer do you need to run this? I mean, maybe like a... A 5? You know? 
Yo, Divine Touch, good to see you. Thank you for the good luck. This is a work in progress so far. I forgot a fender. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot the backside. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. Sometimes you go on into autopilot a little bit, you know what I mean? A little bit of autopilot there. <laughs> hey, River. Your bad lap laptop runs it at 60 FPS. I mean, you don't, really, you don't need a crazy computer to run this game. You just don't. But what you do need is a crazy computer if you want to build extremely ridiculously large crazy objects. Uh, that's just a fact of the matter. Oh god, the dark crew. The dark side's coming out right now. Should I be concerned? I'm gonna paint this yellow here because it helps break up the, uh, that shape there. I like that. How much does Scrap Mechanic cost on the Steam store? Uh, it's about $20, I think. $21.99 or $20.99 or something like that. It's about 20 bucks. And I'm talking Canadian, so I think it's even cheaper if you live in the States or something. Join us. <laughs> so let's see here. Let me get a different angle of this fender part here now. So that is the entire crane mechanism on the back there. Okay, for sure, for sure. I can tell this build is going to have a decent amount of detail by the end of it. I can already tell. Okay, so let's just imagine here. So let's see. In the picture, it would seem like maybe, um... Why can't I build there? Oh, I'm, I see. I did not give it the space I needed. So right now, there's a gap of what? Three. So I can only imagine I should, uh... Do a gap of nine between these ones, maybe? Between the, the front set of wheels and the back set of wheels? So this is like roughly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the center would be like somewhere around here. I might even be able to get away with like one less than that. Like here, maybe? I think that's a good spot. Dark moon bow. Have you built a fire truck yet? I have built multiple fire trucks, actually. It has been a while since I built one, though. This is true. Because I think if I even just go on my lift here, actually, and search up fire truck... Okay, maybe not. Maybe I don't have any, apparently. Okay, well, here's a... This is the old school. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at how old this fire truck is. I remember making this. This is that's a very old build. Very old. A 4x3 monitor? Ooh. I shudder at the thought. There we go. Alright, time to switch it up. Yeah, it's 20 bucks. Chromebook? I've never... I've, I don't know why. I've never thought of buying a Chromebook. I don't know. I'm not gonna... Oh god, I have a floating thing here. How do I get rid of that? Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I can't... I've never had this inclination at all in my life to be like, you know what? Time to pick up a Chromebook. I'm not judging or anything like that. I've just never been big on laptops, I guess, really. I just don't use them. Spawn the first truck. Chromebooks are hot garbage. 
I mean, at that point, just get an iPad, right? Like, that's what, in my mind, anyway, this is my personal opinion. In my mind, it's like, hey, just go get an iPad then, right? Just pick up an iPad, and you're good to go. I think this is a good distance. So then it is, in fact, a gap of three, pretty much, right? Oh my, it's been a while! Finally, they're back. <laughs> I'm an Apple, I'm not an Apple guy. I, I mean, I, I like my iPhone. But, that's about it. That's true, actually. You could just get something from a pawn shop. <laughs> Yo, Blue Flame, what's up? How you doing? I'm just gonna measure the distance here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh wow, it's like right to the end here, right? This is a big vehicle, by the way. Like, this is a no-joke size of a vehicle. Absolute insanity. I think we're gonna get a crazy amount of ground clearance off of this. Just because of the size of these wheels, right? Like, the size of these wheels alone is gonna, like, help justify not having any, uh, any suspension. I think we'll actually just use this one. It's the appropriate size, anyway. I, you thought I had a Samsung? Nope, I have an iPhone. I have an iPhone 5. So... Yeah. That's a fact. That's about me. <laughs> Pure darkness. You don't add suspension? Uh, no, Pappy. I don't think I'm going to add suspension on this build because I want to save... I want to save as many frames as possible on this one because so often, especially like my, um, my Lego tow truck, right? Oh, do I just not have it? Am I just missing a bunch of stuff? Where's the Lego tow truck? This is not there. The research ship is there. Oh, okay, there it is. So this is a, like this lag this build is extremely laggy and even getting rid of the suspen I got rid of the suspension on this thing and it was still laggy. But that's because it's so much detail and stuff. And so that's the balance, right? Is trying to add a crazy amount of detail without completely destroying the FPS. I found it, I found it. You want me to add that to the frequently asked question? Yeah, I don't, it doesn't come up that often. <laughs> I'm gonna use a gas engine level 3, I think, just because of the sound, right? I think most people can agree that the sound of a gas engine level 3 is just beautiful. So I'm gonna have one engine for the front 4, and then I'll have another engine for the uh, back 4 here. Can I play anything on anything other than PC? No, Scrap Mechanic is only available on PC. I don't, like, I don't think it's on Mac or anything like that. Go all out? I mean, usually, I, I'm just trying to balance it all, right? I'm just trying to balance it. We will get, like, we'll do what we can, though, right? Like, no doubt. We're gonna do what we can. The sound is truly beautiful. <laughs> I 
just a little bit more. A little bit. Just wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> Maybe we might have to close this gap a little bit there. Maybe we might have to remove that gap, or at least some of it. Okay, this is not working very well. I'm having some problems. <laughs> Do I like Billy Joel? Oh yeah, I like Billy Joel. For sure. Hey Mambo, good to see you, love you. I hope you're doing all right. Absolutely guys, let's get some hearts in the chat for Mambo, you know what to do. There's so many members now in the chat that it, you have to use the mo the Moombo heart. If you're not using the Moombo heart, what are you doing? So I think I might have to change the angle. Maybe we have to increase the angle, right? Are the wheels turning the right way? Technically, no. But like, yes. You know what I mean? I have to turn them because they, they were reversed in steering. I think it's just some clearance issues. Or it's just like not touching the ground properly. Switching accounts. <laughs> That's all right, Deadpool, you're a rebel. That's okay. You're a badass. I can live with that. Yo, thank you so much. Yeah, maybe it is just front heavy, right? Maybe that's exactly the problem. Maybe if we just had some more weight... It would be better. Yeah, the weight is definitely helping, actually. That made a big difference, for sure. I don't think we need the suspension. I think we're okay for that. I think it was just definitely the weight. Now, I will probably come in here, though, and maybe increase this angle. Like, maybe we'll go up to 35 on both turns. And we'll do that to all four of these bearings here. There we go, 35. More power. I'm missing a rim. I can see it now. I can see the missing rim. 35, right? That's what we said. And we're doing this one here, right? Man, those wheels paint very well, too. Max power. Where's the crane? There we go, that's good. Look at the turning on that now. Oh yeah, that's got some really good turning radius. Ground clearance though. Yeah, we, I think we've all seen better. Hey, Eb the King, good to see you. Add a very long rod on the side of the wheels that then ensure the rods cross at the same point when fully steered to make perfect steering angles. I don't know about that. I don't think we gotta get into that perfection. Maybe we should. What does the bearing lock actually do? Uh, well, the bearing lock just means that it doesn't reset, right? So right now, if I turn to the left, when I let go of the turn, you can see that the, the wheels instantly uh, reset, right? So bearing lock, what it means is that instead of resetting the wheel's position back to a neutral, it will actually hold whatever position you left it in. 
I'm eating my mustache. So if I were to hold it here like this and then let go, the wheels would actually stay in that angle. And I'm seeing now, I have some unpainted bearings here. Unacceptable. <laughs> See ya! Some serious turn angles. Yeah, maybe we can tone it down a little bit. Yee! <laughs> Damn it, I got rid of the uh, wheels too. Of course I did, right? That's just how it goes. When you're confident, that's when you start failing. It makes it that slight bit better, bit better and more realistic. Hmm. <laughs> Do I like Michael Jackson? Oh, ah, yeah, he's got some, some... There are some songs I like more than others, but... I've never been, uh, like a... I'm not, like, gone out and get his m most... best-known songs or anything. Okay, that is too much turning angle now. It's too much. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I think we're just gonna go back to the default. Wheels with no hubcaps. What, the ones that are just floating? Everyone likes a floating wheel. Twenty-seven. Straight hummus? What, you're just eating hummus with a spoon? You know, I've... So there is a hummus that you can get. And it is, um... It's like a garlic hummus that has, like, whole oven-roasted garlic pieces in the hummus. It is good. The inner ones should have a lower one than the outer ones. That's what I thought. I figured that was probably the case. Because science, you know? Or not science, geometry and math. Well, I guess that's a facet of science, isn't it? That's the hummus you're eating? Nice. Do I like Imagine Dragons? I've never really listened to Imagine Dragons. I don't think I've ever heard bad things, necessarily. Okay, this is way better. This is much more reliable, isn't it? Like, look at that. The long rod method. So I would like to have a look at that then. Let's try it out, shall we? The long rod method. That doesn't sound weird to say at all. Do you imagine dragons sometimes? Every now and then when I'm daydreaming, I think of I think it was dragons, yeah. Dragons are always on my mind. It works good now, but we can do the perfection thing, right? Yo, dead duel! Imagine dragon does nuts. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. They're supposed to be bored of that joke. <laughs> got it! Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Dead Tool. Very clever. Very clever of you. Wait, I can't do the long rod method. Unless I connect it to the wheel itself, right? Blue flame, will this work if I do it like this? Wait, where am I supposed to even intersect these? Where are they supposed to intersect? A high five and a head pat should be fine. Well, where are they supposed to cross? I guess that's the better question.
science is about why not. Uh, let, let's just go and do it on flat ground. The point is arbitrary based on how much steering you want. Oh, so I would, in this case, like, extend this even longer, would I? Am I understanding this correctly? Ackerman Steering Geometry? Is that? Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> yes, indeed, indeed. Oh, uh oh, hold on, guys. I gotta spring into action here. It's time for Captain Moonbow. Oh, never mind. Someone else did it. <laughs> Some long rods. <laughs> but I have this. If you have two adjacent bearings connected to one surface. Yeah, yeah, you're talking about the, the two by two bearing, right? So am I, is this... So right now, the center wheels would need a smaller angle because they cross in a different spot than the outer ones. So is this one of those situa situations where it would be ideal to turn bearing lock on? Is that kind of what we're... Is that what we're thinking here? Is turn bearing lock on. So that way we can uh, actually turn the wheel. And we will make sure we are... Totally crossing the paths, right? There we go. And we can have a look now. Alright, see you later, Gunter. The bots are attracted to... <laughs> Good one, Ken. Good one. <laughs> Does the iPhone 5 even still support anything? Well, I was playing uh, Super Auto Pets on my iPhone 5, and then the recent update came out. We got an update for Super Auto Pets, and now it crashes on my phone. <laughs> Svetlana, how's it going? Good to see ya. So these are- this is crossing here, right? Let's mark it. That one's crossing there. And this one's crossing here. So how do I know if it's... Uh... All four of these rods need to intersect at the same spot? Ah! Okay. Really? So let's do 30 on the outer. Right. All right, Wonderkin, see you. Won't you buy a new phone soon? Yeah, I probably should. I really should get a new phone. That spot would be the center of my turning radius. So wait, so am I supposed to like increase... That's 30. This is 22. So I guess I want to turn this one down more, do I? Like down to 17 maybe? Is there some type of mathematical formula to calculate these things? Or is it really a trial by error? I'm, I'm sure there must be some math involved that you could figure it out, but... It's like a big circle. Don't mind me, guys. Normal scrap mechanic stuff around here. Just normal scrap mechanic things. Nothing to see here. Okay, so clearly...
That's better, right? There is math? I figured. There's always math, isn't there? It's time for a new phone? Alright, if my mom is telling me it's time to get a new phone... <laughs> Buy Mambo a new phone? My mom's phone is more advanced than my phone. Her phone can do more things than my phone can, okay? Change your name to Hummus. So is it kind of safe to say then that this might be like close enough? Right? It's kind of close enough. Yeah, tune some angles. This is the fun way to do it. I think it's good enough, right? That should be close enough. I don't think we need to get too caught up on the turning radius here. Will it turn? Yes. I think that's the most important thing. It's not close enough? I think it's gonna turn just fine though. You know, I think that's the most important thing. Like, look. Oh, I have bearing lock on still, but that's kind of cool. Like, look, this thing has some pretty darn sweet turning radius now, if you ask me. Right? Do I prefer iPhone or Android? I've used both, and they both do exactly what phones do, so... I've never really cared too much one way or the other. I just, I got used to an iPhone because that's the interface you get used to, and so that's kind of the one I use. But would I prefer it? Not necessarily. Like I said, I think uh, phones, for the most part, just do what they need to do. The closer, the more consistent the turn. Well, I feel like this is pretty darn good, right? Like, maybe, uh... Well, let me see here, because this is rubbing pretty much, right? Yeah, see, this is rubbing on the front there. I think this is good. I am happy... with what we've got. We just don't have good ground clearance. You thought you were a per I thought you were a perfectionist. Oh wow, that's interesting. I didn't realize that even if you take something on the lift and put it back on the lift or take it off the ground and put it on the lift again, if you have bearing lock enabled, then the bearings uh, reset themselves to the locked position. I've never really thought of that before. Uh, we'll turn them off now though. There we go. I do think that this might be a little bit too close to the front there, unfortunately, but... Alright, see you later, Dark. Yellow. <laughs> Makes sense. I would say it drives good. iPhone kid. Alright, see you later. Have I seen the new challenges? No, I've never really... I don't even think I've done the first 10 challenges, let alone any of the other challenges. <laughs> I wonder, maybe I keep the concrete here, just for the extra weight, maybe? Well, no, I don't think so. I would rather not do that, because we might need this weight in the future. What I will do, though, is add some brackets here to make sure I don't ever accidentally delete that stuff. So I'm just going to put some on either side, like this. This will just add, like, a cool little detail effect as well. Adds all the detail work that... So, like, I love detail that you barely see. That's, like, where it truly shines in a, a build like this. How long does my iPhone battery last? 
I mean, it usually lasts me the day. I just, it lasts me the whole day, you know, and that's it. I plug it in at night usually, but it depends on how much I'm on my phone. Yo, Ryan, good to see ya. You're still going? Wait, like, you guys, I swear some of you guys have no idea what streaming is all about, right? Yours lasts for five hours? If the Lego, if the Lego stickers aren't straight? Well, I mean, that's up to you. You got to make sure you're putting those Lego, Lego stickers on accurately. Since when are you playing this game? I've been playing this game since 2016, I believe. I think it's been since 2016. So I'm going to use these here to locate the fenders, I think. So we'll go up by two. I will use blocks on this one, I think, instead of the pipe there. I'll add the pipe on the front, probably. Hey, Toby. Streaming is about finding your own personal dead tool. He's the Messiah. So then we just connect this with a block set. And this is where we use this now. So that goes, the one square goes past it just like so, right? I think that's where we're at on that. Didn't have enough memory to start? Oh my god. I mean, I can't even imagine, like, what are you putting on your phone? That you have that much stuff. And then a gap of two on that side there, right? Just like so. And we add the duct work here. Increase its storage or memory capacity? Ah, that makes sense. Have I ever thought of a solar charging power bank? No, I haven't, actually. <laughs> I have not thought about that whatsoever. How many things have I built in Scrap Mechanic? A lot. I don't even- I've lost count. I've got like- I have like four or five hundred workshop creations, I think, or something like that. I haven't looked in a while, but... There's a lot. Oh yeah, that's right. This is supposed to carry on to here. Almost forgot about that. We're gonna do it on both sides. <laughs> Yo, thanks, Super Mario. It's a you, Mario. Does the back have... I think it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's good. That's actually a lot like what I was thinking. The back does not have this fender part here. Just like the front. I'm seeing... I could probably do a couple things to maybe make it look better, though, at the very least. Are you finally a hummus man? Not yet. Remember the helicopter I built for the 5K special? Yo, that was... That build is a classic in my mind. Total classic. Watching on the TV and the tablet? Well, that sounds excessive a little bit, doesn't it? Do I know BMG? I've heard of the game. It's not my kind of game, though, but I definitely know about it. It's not like a mystery to me or anything like that. Yo, Josh. <laughs> 
I would argue that the Lego games are pretty uh, high quality. If you're looking for good Lego graphics, then by all means, put down Scrap Mechanic and load up an actual Lego game. Like that. And then we type in pip. And we're gonna do the matching shape on both sides here. Looking pretty good. That is not the color I wanted. Nice. Make sure you're on separate accounts. <laughs> Dead tool multi accounts. Hey, Mettler man, welcome back, welcome back. Nice, this is looking pretty cool, isn't it? This is looking pretty sweet, if you ask me. Now find a mod that makes Lego bricks. I think there actually is a mod already. Already doing multi-accounts. Yeah, I've heard of Dream Car Builder. I think I, I, I've got enough... I've got enough games that involve building. Let's just put it that way. I kind of want to add, like, a cool, like, little detail thing like this, maybe. I don't usually add stuff like this on, uh, on, like, wheel systems. But I think there might be a little bit of value here in adding like a cool little hidden effect, right? Especially because we're using the mesh blocks though, and those mesh blocks, like... It's nice to have a low friction block, but it's unfortunate that we don't have a low friction block... Uh, that is not just a bunch of holes. <laughs> Favorite sandwich? Why are you smashing it with a hammer then? Nope, nope, there we go. Didn't want to do that. Playing Animal Crossing? Now that's a game I couldn't get into. I don't, that's not my kind of game, that's for sure. Especially when people are like, ha ha, Animal Crossing is a chore simulator. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm just like, all right. <laughs> you can use the crane wheel painted red as a sort of brake pad. The crane wheel? Are you talking about... Uh... I'm not sure what you're talking about. Unless you're talking about the support. Is that what you're talking about? This thing? The support stand? Crossing of animals. Hey, Nat. The 2x2 two two wheel thingy. I'm assuming that's what I just showed, right? Yeah, that thing. It definitely adds a lot of visual effect to the wheels now, having that, like, strengthening... It looks like a stronger, like, more, uh, like a more properly manufactured piece, you know? So let's see here. The crane gets locked down on top there. There's not much else in terms of anything like that. And the crane arm itself sits what seems to be in a flush manner. In between here. Now, what I'm thinking, though. What I'm thinking. Here's what I want to do. So, I want to be able to pivot, obviously, right? So, let's just build uh, somewhere relatively centered, I guess. We'll lean more to the front, I suppose, right? We'll just lean more to the front. Not a big deal. We'll do a nine space like so. So 
So I want extreme stability here. I want this to be very stable. Tenderized baguette. So hold on, actually. I need to do the turning. I need to do the bearings first. So if that's the opening... Uh, hold on here. I'm in the wrong spot with my lift. So that's going to be where the turning is. I think I should be able to just do that, right? It should be as simple as that. There should be enough space there for all those bearings. Big round pad. Well, here, check this out. This is what I'm thinking. Uh, well, first things first. Uh, let's actually match our pipe design from the front and the back. I think... It's not necessary, but... Well, hold on here. Let me just keep going with this first, actually. Because we're going to do one bearing. Right? And then we'll do a pipe. And then we'll do another bearing, right? And that's all we really need for left and right control. Don't need the bearings that low. Yeah, I guess I could... Wait, can I... I can't build in between these, though. That's the problem, right? I need to be able to... Uh... Well, actually, hold on. You're not wrong. I realize now I could just go here instead. Yeah, we can just build off from the front like that. So here's what I'm thinking, though. I want a plate, like a stabilizing plate like this, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a perimeter here Underneath it, that is all of those low friction blocks, okay? And so what we can do actually is for testing purposes and just to make sure things are smooth, we will get our electric motors hooked up as well with a button. The crane wheel is only in survival. Are you late? I, I've watched a little bit of Splatoon, and I've always wondered, what the hell were they? What's going on? It's an interesting concept. Don't get me wrong, though. It's a pretty interesting concept. But it's still a very, like... Like, okay. I guess this is not a game for me, you know? Okay, so I should be able to just break this off, right? Yeah, break that off. That's no biggie. Uh, we don't need the corners, technically, unless I want to make more stability. And so what I'll do here now... Let me just make sure this rotates perfectly. Yes, it does. So from that... What I would like... is this. Just like that. So what I'm hoping for is this is going to create a very stable base. Could be that one block spacing. Well, in I'm looking at the like I'm looking at the picture here and there is no gap. Like that looks like there's no gap at all. And that's what I want to avoid completely is that giant gap, you know? Yo, that just went with the music! Did you just hear that? That donation sound just happened completely in time with the music. Dead Tool, thank you so much for the super chat! When is the Zeepkiss ch with chat stream? You know what, we should probably... I would probably have a lot more fun doing that than, uh, Trailmakers. No offense to everyone who enjoys Trailmakers. <laughs> makers. Yeah, I should probably get that going. So technically, I could just have this all be here, right? Like, we could just fill this all in. With the low friction blocks here. Like that. And then from there, we can have the pipe pieces 
Or I guess just the one single pipe piece, right? Use a piston for spacing. When's the next live stream? Well, we'll be back live again tomorrow. So here we don't need any more low friction blocks, right? This is where we can actually start building with real blocks again. So now we have a very stable, extremely like well protected um, turning mechanism that has low friction blocks that is sandwiched between two plates so that we can have like really good spinning. And the idea is normally when something spins like that on a, a single bearing, it starts to like droop down like that. And so what we're trying to do here is avoid that drooping. And I think we might be able to kind of get an idea of how much it's helping um, simply by, whoops, that's a boring screenshot. If we add some like crazy weight here, So you can see we added a ridiculous amount of weight. And let's have a look and see how well it turns here. Graduation party tomorrow. Unless he cancels on us again. So obviously this is extremely heavy now, so it's not going to have a good time moving. You know what, that's just a bad example. That's way too much weight. I actually... I went a little too far. A little too much, too much confidence in that system. Feels like you're more likely to tip the truck now. Well, I would rather tip the truck than... Whoa! Than anything else, so... Yo, Jaden. You think you forgot something while packing? This coming along nicely. Thank you, Guillermo. I think it's a... Uh, it's a good work in progress. I think uh, it's you go through a lot of growing pains, I find, when you build in this game. Well, I do anyway. I don't know about you guys, but... I tend to go through some growing pains with a lot of my builds. Uh, you know, because sometimes you're building and it's, sometimes it's looking good. And other times... You just don't really feel like it's looking good, you know? And that's just a fact of the game. Actually, I might just leave it at that width there. Because we've got more interesting pipe shapes and stuff like that to go here. Like this and that, and then here. And then I was thinking of a duct piece going this way. And then maybe just standard wedges. They've just been treating us real good. All this stuff is like very internal anyway. You're like not even gonna see any of this stuff. I should play Minecraft. Might need to do gas engine now because of more power. Well, we'll see. I mean, it's an easy change because it's two bearings anyway. Not a big deal. Uh, for sure, though, we definitely want to paint all of these mesh blocks a different color to hide them a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Make sure it's painted up. Okay, it's hard to build. Okay, I think that goes like that. And then this goes like that. It's very hard to build with these mesh blocks at times. Okay, that's looking good. I like it. Those are yellow. I'm gonna use just a small pipe here. Perfect square. 
See, I'm gonna use a small pipe there like that. And we are gonna paint it black. And this little section here is like a nice gray going up like that. And I guess I'm just gonna have to make an assumption. Why? Let me see here. Oh, I can see a little bit. I guess we could just do yellow here. And then... Just keep the silver going, I guess. Hey, Space B. You guys talking about hours? What could you have forgotten? I don't know. I mean, how it depends on your means of travel. Right? Uh, where is this block? So the piston system lives just above here. So maybe what we'll do is go up one more like that. How long will this live stream be? Uh, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Excuse me, creative mode streams are kind of hard to tell how long they're gonna be. Because if I'm playing like Raft Mechanic or just any game that kind of like helps move you along, you know, then it's a little bit easier to go for longer. But when it's a creative game like this, after a while, I'm just like spent creatively, you know? So it's hard to tell. It depends more about my own personal motivations. And it's also getting extremely hot in here. I don't paint black, you paint dark. What? Yo, B.E. and Brent, what's going on? Yo, Prime Guy, you finished painting your diorama base? Nice! If I'm live on Sunday... Okay, I see. So this uses all the gears and stuff, but we're not going to use gears because we're actually going to use pistons. Dark is the new black. I'm a flirt saying it's hot in here. <laughs> hey guys, it's getting a little hot in here. You don't mind if I uh, take off my shirt, do you? <laughs> don't forget to add lights. We've already got plenty of lights. What are you talking about? I'm going to have to make a blinky mechanism for that, though. It's only as hot as you are. <laughs> I don't mind at all. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is coupled with another set here. I see. So let's get rid of what we had going on there. We're not going to do it that way. We're not going to have that that way either. I guess we're just going to build it out like this. We're just going to do it the full width the way it was intended to be, I guess. Because we're going to do the same thing here. Right? Except this time, with this piece, we're going to go up... Um, let's see. Uh, we are going to go up two, two more, I think, right? We're going to go one more here. Whoops. Like so. Ideally, I would like to make sure that this stuff is staying on the low friction blocks as much as possible, but obviously... It's not always the case. What have I done? What is happening here? What? What did I do? What 
Why is this all one separate thing? We need draggable wedges. Ah, uh, we'll get them eventually, I guess. Why is this not connected? What did I do? Master of the wedge piece. Yeah, I don't know what I managed to do here to make this disconnected. I'm not sure. You gotta go now. See you later, Wolf. Yeah, I have no idea what I did to disconnect this section here like that. I guess it's working, but it's weird. Yo, Arthur, do you know how to use real words at all, or...? <laughs> I'm assuming no, by the looks of it. I will have to make a locking mechanism at some point, too. You're doing a Lego car? Nice! Welcome back, Loopy Loops. I'm starting to sweat now. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can feel it. So the seat is going to be on the right side. Looks great. Thank you. Thank you. Wheel of Fortune with build ideas. That's a good idea, actually. It's not bad. I like that. I think this is essentially flush to the side of the truck, pretty much, yeah. It's pretty much flush, so I think we'll go somewhere around there for that. And this is definitely the one block. I think we're just gonna do one block above. You've been watching for three hours? To weld separate things? No, it's not that. It's like, it's just they're separate objects for some reason. How long since I played with Spy Cakes? It's been a while. Hmm. So the seat technically would kind of sit further out here maybe. So I could just kind of have it mounted like that. One for driving, two for the crane control. Well, I'd like to... Pr Ideally, I would have just one seat controlling this, right? And... I think I would like to have it be... Uh, I would like to have it be a smaller seat, maybe. Somewhere there. Did Komodo go full children channel? I don't know. I don't really know what his uh, specific target audience is, personally. So we'll let, raise this out by doing... Hmm... Maybe something like this, and then a pipe piece system here, like that. So that way these ones get painted yellow, and then we can do black in there. Yo, lion guy, it's going good. Hey, Cam Bam. Oh my god, jeez. I'm telling you, alright, yeah, you... 
need to take a break. Nothing like having kids just spamming whatever random crap they want to in the chat. Can you check your DMs? Why are you sliding into my DMs right now? Do I watch Stranger Things? Yeah, uh, we've been watching, we watched the whole new season four. Well, whatever's available anyway. I thought it was, I thought it was honestly, uh, uh, I think they did a good job with this season, but it might've been because I was pretty, uh, I'm not disappointed with uh, like season three and stuff like that, but the season, the, the season two and three weren't perfect. You know, they weren't that great in my opinion. The seed is blue. Yo, Micah, how's it going? And Luzifern, great to see you. Luzifern, you're always just perfectly on time. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> I'm gonna use bearings for this as well. Exactly ultra gaming. I've been really enjoying the Lego builds because like I said before They are just like They just translate so well to scrap mechanic and they are it's a lot of fun to see them come to life when you have a nice reference. Oh Yeah, best season since season one definitely What's my favorite creation that I've made I got a lot of them Sorry, you're late. No worries Sam. Nobody here has to apologize for when they show up to the stream, okay? Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do here. We're gonna have a single one like that. And so it's gonna be something like this. Now let's get a controller. I don't know, I didn't plan for putting a controller here. Does it fit though? It does fit. I think this would just be a 30 degree slope, right? That looks really nice though. That looks beautiful. Love it. I'm liking that. You're sorry you're here. Wait, are you? It sounds like you're just trying to get some pity or something. Sorry I'm here, guys. Such a burden. I guess I'll just log off now. <laughs> what is the saddest thing in Adventures Endgame? I swear to God, are you, do you guys just have a, a freaking hat with a bunch of random questions in it and you just like put your hand into the hat and just pull out the most random question imaginable? You were making a joke about apologizing for being late? Ah. Yeah, yeah, no, trust me, they can't all be funny. We know, we know. So technically, I do want space on the outside here, right? Technically. So I suppose what we might want to do is start like that, I guess? Uh, this doesn't actually go as far back as I originally anticipated, too, looking at it now. I mean, it's all going to be connected to the whole crane system, no matter what. But... It's got to make sense first, right? Lots of love from India. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Yeah, we always just watch shows through the whole thing. It's hard to not watch a lot of episodes at once. If you would drill a hole through the earth and throw Scrap Man in it, would the cow still be on the hill? I mean, it depends how much the cow cares about what we're doing, right? I think that's what it comes down to. If the, ca if the cow doesn't care, it will still be on the hill. You're watching the Obi-Wan. Hey, Orion. How's it going? Good to see you. All right, me we play. You have a wonderful night, eh? So I think something like that, and then it goes here, like this. Like that, okay. I see you guys are still pulling the questions out of a hat. <laughs> so like that. Do I want this to be right up against the back of it? I don't think it matters actually. Fight a red farm bot with this build. I don't know if that's what this build is made for. I don't think it is. Something like that, maybe. I will go all the way to here, actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna match it to that side like this, I think. Might as well. You've been in, in the Indiana? How many questions are in the hat? It's actually a bottomless hat. There is no bottom to the hat. It's an infinite, infinite list of questions. That just don't have answers. Okay, you know what? Actually, we're gonna do uh, square here. Because I want this to match up. Ooh, I see. Okay, we do want this to go back here. We are gonna go like that. -na -na -na. Cause I kinda wanna have like because the the chairs are blue. You guys are not wrong. They're blue chairs, and it wouldn't be a bad idea to have some blue backings on them, maybe to help match it maybe a little bit. We'll see. I guess I shouldn't really worry about that too much right now. It's a magic eight ball. Can't find your earplugs. Yeah, you should be able to pick those up at a drugstore or something along the way maybe. I think we're just gonna go with one pipe piece like that, right? Yeah, just the single pipe piece. Uh, no, that is the wrong one though. We definitely want this pipe piece here instead. All right, whoa, whoops. And the T. Like so. Look at that, that's coming together pretty good. Because now, we can actually... Whoa, whoops, that's why. There we go. One, and two. Obviously, that is way too fast. Still too fast. Just nice and subtle movement. And the plate is looking really good, I think. Uh... There it is there. 
That's the plate rotating. Looks good. What, what music are we listening to? Right now we're listening to um, some Wolfenraven now, actually. The current song is called Back in Time. My crime. You paid 20 euro for them? True to, I was meaning, I, okay, I'm glad you're here actually because I was gonna, mend, I like, I'm glad I caught you there. Well, I mean, you see it already, but I was gonna mention to you that I saw uh, they added an update to the new update that said they fixed uh, the problem where creative games weren't loading properly, right? And I thought of you, the moment I saw that message or the, uh, that information, I thought of you and I was like, oh, that's, this is probably a fix for that, right? It's, it has to be. Look at how good this looks. How cute is this little side cart? Little control thing. Not on my watch. <laughs> Look out, bots! We got blue flame in the chat! A real menace. <laughs> uh, so what we actually do is open it up there. Paint those. I think I'm actually gonna paint the whole back here black as well. Do I want this to be wider? Do I want this frame to be wider? Not really. I kind of like it the way it is right now. Like, maybe we do just keep it like this. I don't know. That's something we can change very easily no matter what. But I think that looks really good now. This is looking really nice. Next part, the crane. Put the beams wider. I guess I probably should, actually. You know what? I think I will. You guys are right. Well, it only takes one person to say it, but I agree. Because we just do that, and then all we need to do is put the, uh, the T-pipe on here, like so. It stands for bot. <laughs> well, it's more about what you spam in the chat. <laughs> That's the most important thing. Yeah, this makes sense, right? And then we'll just have the appropriate cover on it and everything now. Okay, so that means I need to go in here and widen this as well. Not a big deal. And then we'll do that. With lights. Yeah, I don't know if we need lights on this thing. I mean, I'm, I'm not opposed to adding more lights and stuff, though. Which mods am I using? Right now, we're only using a single mod. We're using the wheels by Karasu, I'm pretty sure is the name of the mod. Uh, it's just got some really nice uh, modded wheels that look really good. Sad Trailmaker Tuesday noises. We'll do another one soon enough, don't you worry. Okay, yeah, this is looking better, actually. It makes sense this way. Also, Masto, I saw, I don't know why I saw, I think I saw an old message of yours in the Discord or whatever that said you're Jolo de Polo. And that's correct, right? It's 1 a.m. for you? Yeah, get some sleep, what are you doing? Leave the left and right one black. Why is this bulging up like that? Shouldn't this just be a pipe on, like, a flat surface? 
very strange why it's doing that, you know? Like, why is it doing that? A 1 8 scale LEGO supercar? That's very specific. <laughs> I've gotten some pretty specific requests in my day, and uh, I must admit that one is the most specific. There we go. Strict follow cam. Look at that. That is indeed correct. Okay. That's what I thought. See, now I'm getting stuck. What am I getting stuck on? Like, is it just not enough power anymore? We're getting some friction problems now, because of the weight, probably. Guess you're buying new earplugs? You can't find them? Use the level 1 or 2 seat and paint it blue? I guess what, does that just look better? Hmm... Yeah, that's not too bad. It needs the one block gap. Well, I thought that maybe we wouldn't need it because I used low flick, low friction. Last time you saw them was on the 25th of April. <laughs> Yo, Krusty, thank you so much. It's been a good work in progress so far. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some fixing on the, uh, the crane rotation system. It's gonna be really cool. Wedges don't care. Wedges have bad collision. Yeah, but there's nothing colliding. Oh, wait, is it just these wedges? No, wait. Oh, maybe it is these wedges up here. Yeah, maybe it is. See, now it's working. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, we'll fix that at some point. Did I have the bearing set to 360? Uh, this is using a motor, so... Hey, yo, Max, my day has been great. Thank you for asking. I have four 1 8 scale supercar sets to choose. Well, the thing is, the scale doesn't matter, right? If I'm building it in the scrap mechanic, the scaling, the downscaling is irrelevant because I'm going to just build it to the scale that I need to, right? What if you raised it? Yeah, I think that's the plan. I guess we are going to have to raise this up, aren't we? So we'll do it like that. So this is what we'll do. We'll raise it up. As much as I don't want to have to do that, we're gonna raise it up. But I think what I might be able to get away with is uh, covering it up with the low friction blocks anyway. We'll see here. Let's try this like that. So if I do that, right? And then we can at the very least go in here with a gap of one, we'll just go three. And I'll just, oh my god, whoops. <laughs> whoops. Scrap mechanic physics are being scrap mechanic physics today. Well, it's just more, it's the friction. You know, we always have to fight with um, friction in this game, obviously. You know that. And so... Uh, that's what we're trying to fix right now, is some of the friction problems. As long as I can add something here like this, though, to kind of cover up this gap... ...then I'm not... it's not a big deal, but it is nice to have things flush... that ...and look more like they're actually properly manufactured... ...instead of having everything be scrap mechanicified. What time is it in my country? Uh, well, we... I live in a pretty big country with a pretty big time zone. But if you type exclamation point time in the chat you will get uh, my local time. Coffee. Yeah, I can always lower the whole setup, for sure.
There we go. Get those painted up again, right? There we go. So, let's see if that's better now, right? It should be better. Should be better. Naked Moonbow fun. <laughs> what? There we go. It's fixed. Looking good. Put some loose suspension on it. Well, the thing is, I'm avoiding like certain things like that at all costs right now. Like right now, this truck doesn't have any suspension whatsoever. I'm trying to keep it that way for as long as possible uh, because I have a really cool mechanism that I want to try for the boom uh, control arm. I think it's going to be really sweet. Ten hours apart. It has a balancing at the back of the crane. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to get the weights at the back as well. There is definitely the whole thing on the back for all the weights. Why don't you do tank driving? Because that's not how this build works. That's not at all what this build is. This doesn't use tank driving. It uses axle steering. Plus, this just looks cooler. What? Someone got sued for making something in brick rigs? What? Well, that's why I'm going to stick with Lego. <laughs> that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> that's right. That's my story. Okay, so this is where the outriggers are gonna go, here. The outriggers go here, hmm. I might have to move this wheel system back a little bit. These wheels might have to get moved back. We'll see about that. Would a re creation retain this connection after it gets separated from other creations? No, you have to do some pretty interesting, um, kind of janky stuff to get the, uh, to get like a wireless glitch going. You have to do some interesting things. Chat is doing weird today. Yeah, the good old bots. Can't go wrong with the bots. Somewhere in the US, I'm actually Canadian. So the crane arm. It's gonna be pretty big. That thing looks good. Thank you, Iceman. It's looking pretty good so far. So I just wanna, I want to uh, try a little bit of, um, I wanna try something very quickly here to see if my system will work or not. What mods are those wheels from? Uh, this is from the wheels by Karasu. Wheels by Karasu is the name of this mod, and it's a it's a really good mod. It's it's the one I use for all of my like uh, special wheels because you can see like these the tire treads are just beautiful, aren't they? Like there's some such nice tire treads on those wheels. Really appreciate this wheel mod. You, it's just weird because you have to put the wheel and then the hub, so it's just like a two part system. But I mean that's very. Very easy to do, though. Did the red Topot head get brighter? I don't know. I maybe? I haven't really fought a red... Or do you mean like the Topot, the music? I would say yeah, I think you're onto something there. I think that is a brighter red. Maybe it isn't, though. Maybe we're just convincing ourselves now. Make a transformer? Yeah, I've done some transformer stuff. Oh my god, these bots today. You know, it's that's just it's one of those days. It's one of those days. See you later, John. If if Trailmakers gets an awesome update, would I play it more? 
I mean, probably not. I think Trailmakers has gotten all sorts of awesome updates, right? I just... I like Scrap Mechanic for building. This is my fun little building game, and, like, for the most part, you know, that is, uh... That's enough for me. So this crane arm is definitely mounted centered to the whole thing. The whole crane arm is going to be mounted back here. It's going to rest directly in this line here for sure. You hate that they remove pitch from the horn? I mean, I never used horns anyway. Really. Yo, Wood. Good to see you. You wish I could chat ban them? I, I, we are banning those bots, trust me. We are banning them. So I don't have... What would the best way to be to make a... a I'm looking to make a gear with a tooth track. You know what I'm saying? What would the best way be for that? A, a gear... Almost missed the bot. Do I play Zapekist? Uh, I have it. I haven't played it much, but I think eventually we'll start doing some streams uh, with the with multiplayer. Piston is the easiest way. No, I know Piston is the easiest way, but I wanted to try something very different and very creative. And that was to create a, a gear and tooth track system. How do you spell the last bit? Uh, let me have a look here. Let's see. Karasu? Yeah, here it is. I'll put it in the, uh, I'll copy the page here and I'll put it in the chat for you. There it is. That is a link there to the wheels mod that I'm using. Oh, we just got the notification for garbage day tomorrow. Hey, Nelson Cruz, how's it going? So what is the one way to do it? Is it like, um... Something like this? Does it, it should probably be pipes, right? Yeah, well I was thinking of doing it without suspension even. You know, making it a system that you just actually remove with a, a spud gun. And that's why I'm focused so much on uh, trying to make this as lag-free as possible. Okay, so that is too wide, technically. Okay, so this would actually be open like that. No, wait, no, that needs to be connected though, right? Do I have beam NG drive? No, I don't. What did I do on April Fools? Uh, not really much, I don't think. <laughs> objects are worse than some suspension but that's why I'm trying to push the lag free aspect of this build as much as possible 
because I want to try and do that, you know? Take the risk. I really want to try and do it. I really do. I think there's something there. You know? I Call me crazy. But I don't know. I just feel like... There's got to be something there, you know? So here's the idea, essentially, though, right? Is that would be on a bearing, for the most part. Or it's... Not on the most part. It's just, it's going to be on a bearing to begin with. And it's not going to be there like that. It's technically going to be like this. Um, let me see here. Let's get this back on a lift. Because, like, here's what I'm thinking, okay? This is just a little bit of experimenting here. Like that, right? So what if I... What if I did something like this? God damn, I can hear the crows outside right now. Wouldn't be Moonbow if he wasn't crazy. So would this be... Because this is how it works on the Lego build, right? And I think it would just be so cool to have a system that is like the Lego build, you know? I think it'd be really neat. Now, I suppose at this point here, this is where it's going to be interesting. Obviously, I don't know. I I want to try and do this just for the fun of it. I don't think it is going to end up being a viable solution. But I do like the thought of trying. The gaps are too big. I had a... Yeah, I figured they probably would be too big, right? I think there might be, um... I think I have an idea, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, hold on. Let's see here. It's almost like it would need to start- it needs to start in the- in the, uh, halfway position or something, you know? I think it does anyway. Yo, Pixel, how's it going? <laughs> Am I loyal enough? It's almost like this needs to get nudged. You know what I mean? So close to working! No worries, Pixel. Thanks for dropping in. Hmm. Maybe YouTube will notice you one day. Are you talking about the gifted memberships? There are none to be handed out right now. <laughs> Use medium pipes. Yeah, I'm gonna try something different here. I don't think that's gonna work though, is it? The medium pipe? I mean, maybe it will. <laughs> no, this is Patrick. Oh my! The dead tool with the 10 gifted members! Oh my god! Dead Duel, thank you so much for the 10 gifted memberships. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the support and the love. And yeah, I try and get the gifted membership, I guess. If you don't have one, try and get one.
Uh, whoops, I guess I have to grab it from here. It's jammed! Oh my god, it wants to do it! It wants to do it so badly, doesn't it? What if we do this? Let's try this instead. Right? Maybe we'll be able to get away with like a pinwheel design? Thick on the top one? It's lonely out here. You want me to do that for you, dead tool? It's way out of my jurisdiction. <laughs> okay, I can definitely not place this here anymore. Right? Yeah, it's it's too big now. Okay, maybe now we want the small pipes, right? Yo, Rizaldi, how's it going? And that's right, guys. If you got a gifted membership, make sure you thank the person who gifted it. In this case, of course, it is... Lord Dead Tool. I don't want to be uh, thrown into the royal prison or anything by mistitling our lord, our lordship. You've been promoted. Oh, okay. I see. I just I'm I'm kind of the person who like enjoys getting proper training. Why does it have to get stuck like that? So maybe it does need to be the big pipes then, right? Let's try the big pipes now up here. Maybe sometime this year, yeah. Like we were talking about earlier, like it's a lot of work to do a custom game mode, I think. Like what the devs have done for it, I I'm sure has facilitated it a lot, but it's not like you're just opening up some game-making part of Scrap Mechanic. You still have to get in there and do all the, like, heavy lifting, I would say, right? So... Maybe it was this way all along. It's like, no matter what, it's gonna get jammed up. No matter what. Put pipes on every block and don't skip everyone. Yeah, Pixel is going to be doing some modding tutorials, and I have a feeling they are going to be, like, some really, really good resources. I don't think this is going to work because... Well, I don't really have much of a reason to know why it's not going to work, but I have a feeling, deep in my bones, that it's not going to work. But I'm willing to try it out. And I think maybe if we get away with using uh, these small pipe pieces here as well, it might work out in the long run. It takes hours to figure out what a function does. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense at the end of the day. And I mean, if it comes to documentation, who's to do the documentation, right? See, if I if I tap it like this, it works. Isn't that kind of funny? If I tap it, 
It works no problem. Look at this. It's a really, it's a good system. Right? That's a good system. It's working. Oh, I have to tap it. If I didn't have to tap it, then it would work way better, right? Because let's say, for example, we reverse it now. And look at that. It's kind of cool. It, it's cool that it goes out in stages, like one block at a time. That's pretty neat, right? Try putting half the gear on a 45 degree offset. So you mean like within the gear itself? Like it's always passing to the next one or something? Hmm. I think what would this, this would have something at the end of it as well, like, uh, so this would definitely have some type of stopper system here, right? Where this... We would want this to be as fitted as possible, right? Like that. And then that would have the stopper on it as well. If I put a seat down, you can go forwards and backwards. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up having to use a seat in the end. I mean, maybe. Ideally, I wouldn't though, right? So there you go. And then it would be at the end of the line, right? I mean, this could be longer, shorter, doesn't matter. And then with the tapping... With the tapping, it works just fine. So maybe I can use a timer system. Ooh, we could just use a timer, right? Until the cheap plastic breaks. Break the gear in half and put a bearing in between? Put it at an angle and see how it works against gravity. Okay, okay, I'm up for that challenge. I'm up for the challenge. Like that. And that's all fitted in there. Good to go. Uh, and then we can just use the electric motor here. I'll just put it at the back like this. Connect it there. That's going that way, that's going that way, and then from here... Let's see how this works on a slope. We'll go steep. We'll go pretty steep on this one, I would say, right? There we go. That's like a respectable steepness. Are there fireworks going off in the middle of the day right now? What the hell? Caught up to your suggestion. So let's see how this works, right? Hell yeah, look at that! Like I said, I can probably use a timer maybe to like turn this on and off, but look at that. It's not bad, right? Like, that's pretty cool, isn't it? You gotta go to bed. What did you miss? Well, we're just working on... So this, in case you guys were ever wondering, though, this was my big idea for the, uh, for the boom mechanism of the crane. So the way it'll work is there will be a piece of cardboard, however, not the way we have it now. There's gonna be just be a piece of cardboard and you're just gonna basically shoot like a spud gun at the cardboard and it's gonna free the whole mechanism and then you'll be able to uh, move the boom arm with an actual gear. I think that'd be pretty cool. What if I slow the motor down? If I slow the motor down, it actually makes it worse. Slowing, slowing the motor down 
just makes it get stuck more often. Like, see how it's jammed now? Like, tapping still works though, right? So it's like, it's like I have no choice. But if I put it on a timer, and it like spams it like the way I'm tapping it like this, then maybe it'll be better, right? Exactly. A lot. I think a logic timer just to step it, because, and then in that case, what it'll be is just a switch, right? So if I get rid of that, put a switch on, hook it up to. This is just for some testing purposes here. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that, but we're gonna roll with it anyway. How much time do we need? I don't know. Okay, I think it's still stuck. Did you try and make it faster though? I have made it faster, but it's not... It's working a little bit. We gotta make it quicker though, right? I mean, it works. You didn't disconnect it. What do you mean I didn't disconnect it? So now it's doing it automatically, which is quite nice, isn't it? And I would say that all of this would be encased with, uh, with the low friction blocks here, right? So let me just change that back down. So these, whoops, not there. Yeah, there's things to, to do that would help it be more stable, that's for sure. It'll get stuck no matter what anyway. Oh, it definitely will. I mean, worst case scenario though, we just, uh, we say screw it, and then we use, um... Let's try this a little faster even. But yeah, worst case scenario, we just use pistons, you know, it's not a big deal. This is cool, though, because you can stop it at any length, right? Like, you can just go, boom, I want to go a little farther, and you can let it go farther, you know? Which I think is pretty neat. Pretty nifty. Place the gear higher. What's good? We are uh, working on a gear and tooth track system so that we can try and uh, implement it into this build. For the boom arm. For the boom arm of the crane. So this is actually going faster than we really need it. See, there we go. See, now we're starting to... Maybe it just needs to be like... See there, that's pretty darn good, isn't it? Rack and pinion? Is this actually a rack and pinion, though? I'm gonna look online really fast and see, is this actually a rack and pinion? Because I don't think it is, right? I think, I thought there was more to it than just, uh... No, I guess, yeah, it's a rack and pinion. I didn't know for sure if it was a rack and pinion or not. But you're right, it absolutely is. 
Do you know if you have to be subbed for a certain amount of time? Uh, no, I don't know. Like we've talked about, it might not be available in your location or who knows what, right? So I think this benefits from um, a little bit of a delay. Yeah, you want to have the engine activated for at least a certain amount of time, right? And we could actually have a sensor, right? So we could even have a sensor here that would tell the whole system to stop once it reaches the end there as well, right? Because what would this be here? Uh, we would have an outside... Going like that. And then this... Oh, no, I can't use that. Okay, hold on. No, so we won't have a sensor there. We are gonna have a sensor here. Like that. Then that way, uh, we can still have everything communicate. So the sensor will pick it up. And, uh... I guess that would go here too, right? Active... If only one of the link triggers is active, right? I think that's what we want. Nope, it's not. <laughs> the bots are back, that's okay. There's a worm gear in a rack and pinion? Why? No, I know it's not a worm gear, that's for sure. Yeah, we'll figure this. So there we will be able to add some type of stopping mechanism for sure. That will work really well. So I'm willing to try this out though. Like I'm willing to go the extra mile and have this on this crane truck. As, as funny as it looks, as janky as it might be, I personally think it will be really cool. Just gotta make sure it's... Um, Gotta make sure it's stable, you know? I think that's the most important part. An even amount. This will be good for a reloading mechanism. I think I really, like one millisecond is really good. Yeah, no, we want a consistent engine speed. It's more just about how long it's on, right? That's pretty neat, right? Make sure that it'll still fit. I think it'll still fit no matter what. Because worst case scenario, I just make this part wider. But right here, one, two, three, four, five. I guess we're probably looking at wider than five right now, aren't we? One, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. That's right, that's an odd width versus even width. Maybe we'll off-center it just by one block. You know, maybe just one. Can it go any faster? Any faster and it's gonna start breaking, unfortunately. But this works better than the button, that's for sure. Pistons for lift. This is why I enjoy this so much. You would have never thought of doing it in such a complicated, over-engineered way. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, after playing this game for six years, you kind of come up with uh, new ways to challenge yourself, right? That's what it's all about for me. Attach the boom arm to a piston and have the gears stretch it out. Uh, I can't really do that with the, um, the built-in pistons, actually. I like this, though. Like, I think this is neat. This is just neat. Look at that. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because it's how the Lego build is, too, actually. That's why I'm doing it this way. 
because I just want to see what it's like to try and really focus in on matching the Lego functionality along with the design, right? That's kind of what I always try and challenge myself with when it comes to these Lego builds. Which song is it? Uh, I think this song is called Lair of the Dragon. Or Cyber Samurai from the album Lair of the Dragon. My bad. Yeah, Cyber Samurai. What a badass song name. <laughs> Ninetale, how about you just stop saying the same thing in chat over and over again? And, and not be super selfish like that. You remember the days before Pistons? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, those were the days, weren't they? So, yeah, I think this is a good system here. It's kind of janky, but it gets the job done. And I think we'll be able to make it fit no matter what. I think it'll work. This is what Scrap Mechanic is all about. That's what I'm talking about, baby! That's, this is Scrap Mechanic! Live! It's how we do! <laughs> Even if it's not practical or working. It's fun. That's why we do it. We just want to have fun. This is looking cool. Yeah, it is. This is going to be the mechanism that is used for uh, the boom arm extending. Anyway, that's the that's the dream. Anyway, <laughs> lurking and working right on, Kevin. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Over engineering is fun. Exactly. You know exactly. There are people who make piston engines. You know, it's like, why would you go through all the effort to make a piston engine when you can go... <laughs> start getting batter? How about you start typing batter? <laughs> I should visit the UK. One of these days, I'm sure I will. One of these days, I'm sure I will. So that's the dream, though, is having this piston mechanism sliding up along that. This Lego build is $200. Lego is expensive, man. It's not cheap. A real boom arm. You forgot the stabilizers? I didn't forget the stabilizers. I just haven't done them yet. Because I am about to end the stream, guys. I am burning up it's getting really hot in here and it's time to go and relax get off the computer recompose myself for tomorrow's stream yo canister it's worth it yeah if you like lego then by all means right it's fun thing to figure out yeah you will what Oh well, yeah, guys, I think I'm going to end it there. This has been great progress. We've got most of the body work done on the truck. The front cab is done pretty much. We'll do more detail work as well. Uh, but we just have to kind of keep working on this boom arm. Get the boom arm going with a crane system. Should be pretty easy enough. This boom arm might not work, I realize now, because if we want any type of crane system with like a hook, well, maybe we'll just have to do a manual hook or something, right? I don't know. You were gonna go soon, so that's good, you guess. <laughs> oh yeah, it's getting warm in here. I think tomorrow I might have the air conditioning set up. I think it's time. I think it is time for the AC. Thanks for the stream. Yo, thank you so much for being here. Lego is a better investment than crypto. <laughs> If you have a legit Lego, you can't stand the knockoff. Oh, yeah, well, I would never, uh... I mean, I'm, I don't buy normal Lego, so I'm definitely not buying the knockoff. <laughs> Yo, Dark with the gifted member! Thank you so much! Your AC turns on if it's over 65. Yeah, I live in a really old house that doesn't have built-in stuff, so... <laughs> Dark, thank you so much for that gifted membership. Really appreciate that. Let's have a quick look here. What's going on with the top weekly gifters? Oh my goodness. Dark knows what he's doing. <laughs> Dark knows what he's doing. The one-upper. <laughs> Just got a smart one. You live in an attic? Oh, that sounds warm. 
Don't ask for memberships in the chat, please. Eventually I'm gonna start timing people out, and then it'll turn into banning. Do not beg for memberships in the chat. Thank you for understanding. Oh yeah, all right guys, I gotta go. I'm hot, I'm sweating now. It's only, it's only a matter of time until I start feeling sick while I am streaming. All right, so thank you so much guys for hanging out. No point in begging you got yours while you weren't even watching. <laughs> got some rock going on. Yeah, that's right. Enjoy the weekend, eh? Enjoy the music. Enjoy the concert. Enjoy the weather. I hope you have a good one. Stay safe. We'll see you when you get back. Uh, so thank you so much, guys, for hanging out today. Love you guys so much. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with um, something. I don't know. Come back tomorrow to find out. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great night, though. Thank you so much for all of the love and support today on the channel. Really appreciate you guys. Love you guys so much. We'll be back tomorrow with who knows what. You hope you help me with the arm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you guys take it easy. Enjoy the evening. I will see you tomorrow. Exclamation point Discord if you want to join the Discord if you haven't already. Uh, and don't forget to drop a like on the stream if you enjoy the streams, because that's what YouTube demands of us, okay? YouTube demands the likes and the subs. My spelling is out of line. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to take off. You guys have a wonderful evening. Love you guys so much. And I'll see you tomorrow. But if I don't see you tomorrow, well, I guess I'll see you on the flip side. All right. Take it easy. Love you guys. And the audio's... Bye for now! Thank you for the $1 super chat. Deadpool, have a wonderful night. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye, 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 bye.